WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. No official auto show taking place this year. We're bringing the show to you. Today's stop highlights FCA. The WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith is presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. Here's Paul. It's Friday! Yay! Oh, you can say that again. Yay! Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is Friday, September 25th, the 269th day of 2020. There are 97 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. Well, here we go on this Friday morning, and again, it's our Paul W. Smith WJR Roadshow, remembering the auto show as we love it, and with the latest news that it's coming our way, now at the end of September, 1st of October, the press days and the industry preview days, and then... uh, on October 1st, the charity preview, and then into the public day. So uh, we pay tribute to uh, the the auto show, the best one, the most important one in the world, the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. That's only going to be bigger and better than ever. And we thank our sponsors, and we remind our listeners that uh, on special broadcasts like this one, we will stay up on YouTube and everywhere else you get your social media so that you can not only listen to us, you can see us if you're on one of the social media channels. And, of course, always at 760 on WJR, you can hear us. But for the entire show, we leave the cameras on if you want to drop in and uh, take a look, take a peek, and participate uh, along the way. I think we have a group of our Paul's pals already uh, signing up and uh, tuning in on social media. We're happy to be here with the team, the team, the team on Friday. Dick Hafner, thank you for the news, the way it was meant to be presented, actually as news. How unusual is that? Um, I uh, appreciate it, especially when I've been up again late watching what was happening in Louisville and uh, elsewhere in the country and the world. And I, I am reminded again and again what it means to have news presented the way it should be. And then there's CNN. Uh, We have Dana Clark, our WJR traffic and weather and uh, opinion and uh, today movies and food. And uh, we caught her just before she goes to the senior prom. (laughs) I'm dressed up for the road show. You are dressed up on the road. Pat it down a little bit. Okay, I'm ready. As long as that, that little, <laughs> as long as that additional hair doesn't fall off, <laughs> right? Um, right. Be okay. Uh, Brian Morton in the Golden Tower, of the Fisher Building, with hazardous duty pay, uh, and uh, he is uh, pressing all the right buttons, making sure all the connections are are right, and that uh, that everything is as it should be. Our executive producer. Uh, from an undisclosed, now disclosed Walloon Lake. If you watch her on Instagram, you see some beautiful pictures. And Thomas, our executive producer. And boy, aren't we lucky to have places like that within a short drive away from wherever we are in Michigan, Annie. Absolutely. Good morning, Paul. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. And uh, a happy WJR Roadshow at 542. This report is brought to you by Unbound.org. Right now, there are young people across the world facing a tough choice. Continue their dream of education or drop out to help their family put food on the table. You can help change their future in a single moment. See how far your support can go at Unbound.org. And it's time to check it. Uh, WJR Traffic and Weather First, Miss Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre-screen quality tenants to their property owners. They'd love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbloomfield.com. 
of a closure this morning. It's in Grand Blank Township, 75 southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road. Shut down there due to a multi-vehicle crash. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Gordon Chevrolet. Gordon Chevrolet, where not only do you pick your payment, but now pick your program. Need to pull ahead your lease? Do you need GM employee pricing or a low payment with zero interest? Let Gordon Chevrolet help you find it. On Ford Road, just west of Merriman in Garden City, GordonChevrolet.com. Gordon Chevrolet, find new roads. No, no complaints here unless you want it to rain. If that's the case, uh, maybe next week, maybe early next week. Mm -hmm. Nice clear start today and the dry pavement sticks around this afternoon. Gorgeous sunshine, close to 80. Tonight, 59. Suburbs low to mid 50s. Kicking off the weekend tomorrow with a few clouds, low 80s. Sunday, clouds, sun, low 80s. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ray Stigic on News Talk 760 WJR. And 57 degrees at 544 on WJR. Noon to 3, it's Rush Limbaugh's show, and he stops by first thing in the morning. Rush? Marik von Rennenkampf, State Department analyst and Obama regime appointee at the Defense Department, in an op-ed for The Hill. This guy's calling for Democrats to stop being cowards and to teach Republicans a lesson. If the Republicans dare confirm a Supreme Court justice for the vacancy caused by RBG's passing, Von Rennenkampf says that the Democrats must take off the gloves and use fear-mongering to whip up their base. He says the Democrats must immediately impeach Trump again, this time on the pretext that Trump supposedly begged the Chicom president to help with his reelection. The Democrats have to hold hearings. They have to flood the zone with anti-Trump witnesses, he says. The Democrats should also grant Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. statehood so they can seize control of the U.S. Senate by installing four new Democrat senators in perpetuity. The Democrats should also give big blue states like California more political power than states like Wyoming, which contribute nothing to our economy, he says. And to top it off, the Democrats should stack the Supreme Court by adding seats. Now think about this. Marik von Rennenkampf is a mainstream Democrat. He was a high-level Obama regime appointee. Perfect example of tyrants in waiting running the deep state, which Democrats claim doesn't exist while this guy is out proving it right here and now. Rush Limbaugh, noon to three today, right here on WJR. We're back. We are back. Good morning, everyone. Boy, we've got a lot of people up in, up in Adam already this morning. Well, it's Friday. It's a great day to get started early. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Mm -hmm. Fabulous weekend. Mm -hmm. 57 degrees now, 46 in Ann Arbor, Lapeer 48, Monroe 48. Great sleeping uh, weather, that's for sure. And uh, and as we just heard with our weather forecast, we're looking at, uh, at uh, very little chance of precipitation. I thought that early on, in fact, I swear that early on there was rain forecast for uh, for Sunday. Mm -hmm. But that apparently is gone now. With uh, 75 uh, as a potential high being called for by uh, Channel 4. And uh, I didn't... I didn't hear what uh, our weather gentleman had to say. But here we are, another uh, unsettling night around the country. I've seen already about 15 times a video of a police officer rolling their bike. There was a group of officers on bikes. One was pushing his bike in a crowd and ran over a protester that was inexplicably laying down on the ground. I uh, don't know what the condition of the protester is or was. And I, they stopped the video short, which always happens with videos. You either see it late or you know, never see it all. And there was something happening when they got to where they were. And I, I didn't even know if the officer was looking down. Uh, they were under attack, so he was looking up. I don't know if he ran over that person that was laying on the ground. And not, he wasn't riding his bike, but pulling his bike. Or if he was looking up because it was a a skirmish or confrontation that they were entering into. Don't, don't know, but you'll see the tape ad nauseum because, of course, it helps the situation by showing a tape like that over and over and over again, regardless of the circumstances. 
But so we enter into uh, the weekend with uh, our hands full once again. And uh, who knows where it's going to go. And all the talk about all of the the protesting and rioting and everything else that's going on that will only be exacerbated by the election. Instead of solved by the election, depending on which way the election goes and which way the crowd wants it to go, which we know, uh, those are not Trump supporters. Um, we'll see where it ends up. Uh, on this day in history, September 25th, 1957, Nine black students who'd been forced to withdraw from Central High School in Little Rock, Park. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. And reflecting on uh, another bad night last night in... Seattle and Louisville and any number of other places. Uh, I'm reflecting on some of the history that we should note as well on this day. In 1957, nine black students who'd been forced to withdraw from Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, because of unruly white crowds, the black students were escorted to class by members of the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division. That was 1957. And yes, we have come a long way. And speaking of coming a long way, how about this one? In 1904, a New York City police officer ordered a female automobile passenger on Fifth Avenue to stop smoking a cigarette. <laughs> a male companion was arrested and later fined $2 for abusing the officer. Yes, we've come a long way, haven't we? And the crowd grew silent. <laughs> $2 for abusing a police officer, and women were not allowed to smoke in public. Actually, that would have been a good law to keep forever for all of us not <laughs> being able to smoke. Uh, we'd have a lot to fewer dead people from uh, cancer and other problems. What's on everybody's mind on this Friday morning other than the fact that it's Friday? A couple of interesting stories. I see the Detroit Regional Chamber has changed the policy conference to next September 2021. Just so ahead of just ahead of the North American International Auto Show. It's so much better when it appears that they compare notes and calendars and make their decisions uh, based on that. Because uh, it, it, since we usually have to broadcast from both, it's always kind of a, a challenge to be able to get from one to the other and and have things uh, going on. And where does the uh, where's the let's see. This that does, event is the week before. So that event is the week before the North American International Auto Show, the, September 20th, the, the, the Chamber's big event okay. on Mackinac Island. The other interesting story so they, is... And going, that won't affect the, uh, the uh, race, then, will it, on the Belle right. Isle? That's right. The Chevrolet yeah. Detroit Grand Prix. So that clears that up a little bit, too. Yes. What were you saying, Annie? The other interesting story, too, is the Thanksgiving parade and how they're going to do that. So that'll be virtual. Mm. People will be able to watch it on TV. And Paul and I will be doing a pre-show like we normally do, but it will be different. Nobody there. No crowds. Mm. Everything will be uh, uh, virtual. I'm getting the feeling uh, things are going to be virtual the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. No. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I am hearing last late last night. Somebody was saying, uh, don't even think about having the opportunity to not wear a mask until about 2022. Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw that yeah, too. That's about right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I've, I was just thinking about having to pack. I'm, I'm going to be off for a couple of days this coming week, going off for my annual physical thing. And, and I'm, it, you, now when you think about packing, you go, Okay, now I have to take some masks. <laughs> right. I'm going to take some masks. Right? Do, do I put them in a plastic bag or just? <laughs> what the hell am I having to think about this for? But that's the way it is. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. That then you say, well, true. wait a minute, Paul, why are you going to get a physical and doing it in a hospital for two or three days? Isn't that like the worst place you want to be right now in a hospital? And then I start thinking of it. Great. 
I've avoided COVID-19. Watch, I'll get it while I'm in the hospital getting a physical to make sure I'm healthy. <laughs> but we've had a lot of doctors on who say that the hospitals are really safe. I can tell you, having visited and- them, they, 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 they go out of their way. Right. Uh, everybody's getting their temperature taken. They, they, they have masks on. Uh, and... Uh, it, it is a safer place, but still people are avoiding them, and they shouldn't. It's a much, it's frankly, it's a much safer place, just period. If there's, a, I, I've been carrying this around. I'm going to read it so I can get rid of it. Um, this is uh, to to indicate, you know, we, we kind of think that for whatever reason that we've got some craziness in this country in terms of government, and we wonder what our government employees, the people we're paying, are doing. <laughs> How's this one come along to you? Uh, In Switzerland, the country's top court has given the go-ahead for citizens to decide on amending their region's constitution to include, quote, fundamental rights to life for non-human primates. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That'll be in the constitution now in Switzerland. Hmm. Don't touch that squirrel. (laughs) <laughs> they have the same constitutional rights that you do. I wonder how much squirrels pay in taxes. <laughs> Is there a tax on their nuts? Oh, boy. That's a squirrely story, Paul. <laughs> right. I knew that Dana would react. <laughs> oh, dear. And, and I knew Anne would react that way. <laughs> but, it, I mean, think of it. Squirrels and other non-human Primates have the exact same rights as the the fundamental rights of the Swiss people. No wonder they all have guns. A well, primate they... is something that walks on two legs, so that would be monkeys. Oh, so monkeys right. will have rights. I don't think it's it's probably uh, not right to use monkeys as any examples anymore. So I'm I said squirrel, but you're right. Uh, squirrels don't uh, Even walk as on their hind legs. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I had a dream of a squirrel coming up to me and wanting something. My home, uh, my home, as I recall. <laughs> you know, I've had bad experiences with squirrels here in this part of the world. Yes, you have. They laugh at me. They mock me. A little me. bit of a war going on there. <laughs> they eat through my garbage cans. And uh, wow. sometimes they're even in my garbage cans. To this day, when I open the lid to put more garbage in, I am prepared for a right. squirrel. <laughs> For Rocky, the squirrel comes <laughs> flying out and uh, hmm. attacking. Uh, some good news here that, uh, it, and it came through, but there's so much bad news that we have to talk about often. But the Pure Michigan budget plan is out, and uh, well, the the state budget, sixty-two, almost sixty-three billion dollars. But in that. There is $15 million for the Pure Michigan program, which I think is uh, is good. Great yeah, news. That's very yeah, good. That's yeah. great news. At one point, it was uh, allocated $36 million, but $15 million is better than a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, as you think about it, you wonder where that expression came from. Because <laughs> what isn't better than a sharp stick in the eye? <laughs> COVID? Yeah, yeah, well... Uh, okay, there you are. <laughs> very, very fast, Dana. <laughs> Five fifty-seven at WJR. This report is brought to you by Unbound.org. Right now, there are young people across the world facing a tough choice: continue their dream of education or drop out to help their family put food on the table. You can help change their future in a single moment. See how far your support can go at Unbound.org. And we're checking in our WJR traffic and weather first. And, of course, Dana Clark. Sponsored by Super Car Wash. Want your car to shine? Visit one of Super Car Wash's 11 locations throughout Metro Detroit. Enjoy unlimited car washes at all 11 locations for just $12.95 a month. Super Car Wash features free vacuums, free hand towel drying. Look super. Go unlimited today. A closure, a multi-vehicle crash in Grand Blanc Township along 75 southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road. That is closed. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Attention new car buyers, Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is offering huge savings on their inventory of new Ram pickups during the Ram Power Days event. Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Hall Road and Clinton Township. 
show up, sign up, and ride. Expecting a great weekend. No rain, as we first thought earlier in the week. Lots of sunshine today. Great way to kick off those three days. Get some plans outside. A high of 80 tonight. Clear skies, low 60. Partly cloudy on Saturday, up to 81. And partly cloudy again on Sunday, but still in the 80s. Fog, 57 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Dick Hafner in two minutes. 558 at uh, News Talk 760 WJR. We will be on our social media feeds on camera for the entire show today as we feature the automotive industry, FCA, today. And lots of good things to talk about with them. They've got a lot going on with that. Certainly the introduction of the Jeep Wagoneer and some of their other great uh, Jeep products that are uh, industry and market leaders, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know, was it Ann or Dana who came up with Paul's Pals, which is what we used a little bit with our, our golf tournament, but that's uh, uh, turned along, around a little bit. So we use Paul's Pals for the people who tune in first thing uh, here online, like Bill Cox and Bob Deramo and Don Kruger and Ron Becker and Lisa Scolias. And I don't know, Lisa, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Patrick Mendes, Ken Mattel, Carolyn Pilock. Mike Richardson, Ron Becker, Cindy Sager, Rebecca Wilson, Sorensen, Verna Kay, B.D. Coombs, Kathy Knowlton, Mark Gardner, Nathan Hessen, Patrick Mendes, I'm probably repeating here, Mike McLeod, Don Kruger, Ron Becker, Rebecca Wilson, Sorensen, Bill Cox. Did you see what Rebecca says? It's a good idea. I, I, I did not. I can't keep up with the pictures of yourself and your family wearing masks because this is history <laughs> you know you'll look back and say did that really happen oh that's mm -hmm. a very good idea it is yeah mm -hmm. now are really you making idea. are you making that show up on the left side of the screen as well as on the right side of the screen are you pushing any buttons uh, or is that just automatically happening no i could do that but curtis is doing that all right curtis is up and all right curtis is curtis is handling the show for us this morning Thank you. Because we Mr. have some Paul. cool graphics and, you know, Oh, for the auto stuff. Cool. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I tried mind. to watch that uh, video that you said I should watch, and I, I watched most of it, but I couldn't get the sound to work. What a surprise. Um, so what it? day is it? What food day is it to kick off the weekend? Usually you have it's national. I don't. Uh, uh, Kim is national still sleeping. What day? Kim is still sleeping. I, I don't have that. Oh, I'll, I'll She's see. It's one of the things out. that she uh, gives to me. I just got to find. So today's the 25th, right? So I'll look mm -hmm. that up for us. Um, we ate at a place in Charlevoix last night called Terry's Place. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a pretty popular restaurant in downtown Charlevoix. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What's it, what's it called? I missed it. I'm sorry. Terry's Place. It's in downtown Charlevoix. And it's excellent food. Very Terry, uh, place. So the owner's name is uh, obviously Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> I so, don't know. I don't know. So it's, it sounds like the kind of place that's been there a long time, and everybody loves it. Exactly. And mm -hmm. whitefish. You know, mm -hmm. fresh no, whitefish. White Man, is whitefish big up north? How did you? Uh, did you ask at the front desk of the hotel, or how did you know about it? Did you guys we've, already know about we've it? We've been there before, yes. Oh, you have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of those places when you go up north, you say, oh, we have, when you go to this town, you say, oh, we mm -hmm. have to go there, and you go to another town. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know. When we used to go up to uh, Garland, and and that means the radio station, uh, before you were around, Dana, uh, but Ann was here, we used mm -hmm. to do a broadcast from Garland. This is now a number of years ago. But up there at Garland, uh, around Garland also, there was a, a, a restaurant, like a burger joint or something that everybody went to. And I, for the life of me, mm. not a surprise, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a, it was a great place and I hope it's still there. Uh, and it was big with uh, snowmobilers too. You know, mm. I, I just saw Mark and uh, Debbie Snethkamp uh, at lunch. We ate outside yesterday. And, uh, you know, they are real outdoor enthusiasts. So they have a place up north and they, they love to ski and they love to uh, 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 snowmobile or as uh, some people have called it, they love to get on their snow machines. I never really? had a snow <laughs> machine. 
Then I got to <laughs> run for vice president if I talk about it as a snow machine and say I'm from Alaska and can see Russia from my front porch. But anyway. Um, well, there's, there's a lot of things today for today, but the, the best one, I think, is it's National Quesadilla Day. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Doesn't that sound good? Yes. That sounds Very really good. good. A good quesadilla is hard to beat. Good Mexican food. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, is, uh, there's a place down the street now that we live back here in, uh, in Gross Point, uh, Sierra Station. Hmm. And Ooh, Jeff, is Jeff is the owner. And uh, he, he goes to Mexico all the time and brings back, you know, Mexican art. Mm-hmm. So the restaurant oh. is filled with Mexican art, plus the tables and chairs are like handmade in mm. Mexico. It's really, it's great. But more importantly, the food is spectacular. Mm-hmm. And uh, I understand the margaritas are pretty oh. good too. I hear. <laughs> you just heard. I heard hear that. the margaritas are pretty good at Sierra <laughs> Station. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. I got to write this down. Yeah. Yeah. Sierra if you, Station. Yeah. If you go to a Mexican restaurant, what do you order? Uh, I there is a car coming into my driveway right Uh-oh. now. They're coming oh, to pick you up. <laughs> only it only concerns me because my newspapers are already here. Uh oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe turning around. Uh, still coming. Yeah, I'm still it's coming. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's finally like getting home from the bars. <laughs> an, uh, the weirdest thing is there are a number of cars. Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, you're having a little work done this morning that not you're not that aware, I'm aware of? No, I'm not aware. <laughs> Here, talk amongst yourselves. Uh-oh. We hope he returns. Now, Dana, if, <laughs> now, Dana what would you order if you went to? Oh, Mexico? I probably would order, I usually order a quesadilla, like a chicken quesadilla. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my fave. Of course, a margarita, but you have to get the top shelf. You have to get like the Cadillac margarita. And what is that? What's the Cadillac? Well, it, the the um, it's like using eighteen hundred or um, what's that other tequila? Hi, higher end tequila, instead of just the house tequila. Um, so it's a little stronger, basically. And um, sometimes I get tired. Oh yeah. This is the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. No official auto show taking place this year. We're bringing the show to you. Today's top highlights, FCA. The WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith is presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. Here's Paul. Good Friday morning to you. That's right. It's Friday. Yay. Oh, you can say that again. Yay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is a Friday, September 25th, the 269th day of 2020. There are 97 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. I've got the team, the team, the team here. Dick Hafner just presented the news the way it's meant to be presented. Thank you for that, Richard, as news. Wow. What a concept. Uh, Dana Clark is here, our WJR traffic and weather first and an opinion or two or seven. And uh, (laughs) some movies today to see that you can watch at home and have fun with and all of that. Uh, Brian Morton in the Golden Tower of the Fisher Building, pushing all the right buttons. And our executive producer has been exposed uh, (laughs) through Instagram. We've been able to do an investigation, and we find her at Walloon Lake. Good morning, Jeff. Happy Friday. Wonderful place to, uh, to be, isn't it, Annie? Yes. I highly recommend to pay a visit up north because the leaves are turning, the weather's beautiful, and Michigan is a lovely, lovely place to visit, and you don't have to go too far. Mm-hmm. No, you don't have to go far at all to enjoy the beauty of Michigan, and uh, in, in this case, Mother Nature's fireworks show, the, the changing leaves, always spectacular. And uh, this is the time. They're just, they, are they, they've been on for, the, the color's been there a little while, hasn't it? I, again, I, I'm living through the pictures I see from people uh, on uh, Instagram. And, it's kind uh, of really seems to be just starting, Dub. 
but I it's, saw a picture that was um, like Lake Charlevoix. I'm trying to think, and uh, I thought they were showing uh, leaves reflecting off the water. Beautiful picture. Now it might have been a dated picture. It might have been from before, maybe further into the fall. I've seen That's a few probably trees. What it was. I've seen a few trees though where the leaves have dropped. Doesn't the color and the leaves dropping have something to do with the weather too? And the water, the amount of rain and all right. of that sort of yes. stuff. By the way, uh, I got up a moment ago because it looked like people were driving up my driveway. Uh, I don't like visitors at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it, and what it is is because there are screens uh, uh, through my uh, glass here. I'm just seeing the, the lights, and it actually, it's the people working on the golf course just across the street. And so the lights were, they, the, apparently there's three or four of them out on their little uh, vehicles and they were all coming toward me, but across the street. Mm. Golf courses are a lot of work. Yes. Oh, yeah. And they, they get up are? early, right? They get up early. They get them ready for the early golfers because I'm sure it's going to be an unbelievably busy weekend with this weather. Mm -hmm. So Thanks. spectacular. And golf is a great COVID activity because you can social distance and you're outside. And and I, I do believe that uh, this is not official, that cigar smoke uh, does help kill the virus. Oh, does it? <laughs> Dana, that Dana. is not a oh. <laughs> What's that, Dick? Pretty much everything else, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors, friends, uh, it chases people away. Um, I, uh, anyone else used to the f people in the commercials now because uh, wearing masks, have you noticed? I mean, like now you're, you're looking at a normal commercial at a car dealer or this was a carpet store or something and everyone's got masks on and we kind of go, oh yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah, everyone's yeah. got masks. So. so now it's incorporated in the commercials. They avoided that in the beginning thinking, well, don't point out what's going on this will be this will date the commercial if we have masks so don't let's don't do that now everyone's figured out we're going to be wearing masks for at least the next year or two uh and so now they're a way of life and they're going to be showing up in those commercials gonna be hard for the dairy queen though oh no the dairy queen we're past the dairy queen season aren't we um it's also funny to see what people do with their masks <laughs> When they're not, when they it's feel hilarious. they don't need them, mm -hmm. some of them are just have them right under the chin. Some of them have them hanging from one ear, mm -hmm. stuffed in a front pocket. Some people keep them on in their yes. car when they're the yeah. only ones in there. <laughs> I still haven't gotten that, over that. That's kind of funny. Uh, I still have trouble uh, remembering if my mask is on or not on. It's kind of like my my sunglasses. You know, I'll I'll leave my car, I'll come in, and I go, oh, exactly. I still have my sunglasses on. <laughs> I, I, I got to get my regular glasses mm -hmm. back in the car. Uh, same thing with the mask. And sometimes I it, I never forget it's on, though. Mm -hmm. And I still, yeah. I've done all the things that we've even told people to do, and I still get foggy glasses. Me too. I don't like that at all. I was I at... I have to go back to the car and get my mask. Me too, yeah. You, you have to go and back to the it, car yeah. and get your mask. Mm -hmm. I keep one paper mask in my pants pocket for mm -hmm. those emergencies. Mm -hmm. uh, I have better masks in the car. I used to have two masks on my desk, but I don't see them right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, you forget, you, and you have to go back. Oh, where are you going? I forgot my mask. Mm -hmm. it, in the beginning, I'd have to, like, turn around in the car and go back and get a mask. Now I have a couple of masks in my car. Well, we couldn't find masks anywhere. Now we can find them everywhere. But then, of course, we find the story that I saw last night saying, which don't get me started on this, but these masks that have been uh, sold as N95 masks from China, mm. they don't really work. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Counterfeit masks from China? That's shocking. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. And I ordered masks online, and they came to me at one point from Korea. Mm. Oh, wow. Again, how did these people get the uh, the jump on this uh, <laughs> this uh, virus? It's, it's almost as if the Chinese and others knew what they were doing when they sent the virus to America. It's been very good for their business. <laughs> Interesting. 
It is uh, 613. We're staying virtual all morning long, right up till 9 o'clock. So you can listen to us on AM 760 and watch us, too, on Facebook or YouTube or wherever else you can find us. Maybe if you open your refrigerator, we might be in there, too, if the light is, if the light is good. 613 at WJR. This report is sponsored by MGM Grand Detroit. At MGM Grand Detroit, they can't wait to see you again. They look a little different as they've made changes for your health and safety to ensure your visit will still be a grand time. They hope to see you soon. And remember to always mask up. 21 plus. Speaking of masking, uh, let's check it. Our WJR traffic and weather first, Miss Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by Reamer Floors. Introducing Karistan Waterproof Luxury Vinyl Floors. Now in stock at Reamer Floors. Luxury Vinyl Floors by Karistan are better than nature intended. Shop from home at ReamerFloors.com or shop in store by appo- appointment at Reamer Floors in Bloomfield Hills. Still watching that closure in Grand Blank Township. 75 southbound shut down between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road. Please avoid the area. Police are on the scene. Upcoming construction tonight, 94 westbound between 696 and Connor, 8 p.m. All lanes will shut down until 5 a.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Reamer Floors, introducing Karistan Waterproof Luxury Vinyl Floors, now in stock. At Reamer Floors, luxury vinyl floors by Karistan are better than nature intended. Shop from home at ReamerFloors.com or shop in-store by appointments at Reamer Floors in Bloomfield Hills. We've got sunshine in the forecast here. Warm temperatures continuing almost 10 degrees above average into the upcoming weekend. Clear sky this morning, sunshine this afternoon, 80. Overnight tonight, mainly clear, 59. Tomorrow, some clouds, low 80s. Sunday, clouds and sunshine with highs in the low 80s. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ray Stitch, Gal News Talk 760 WJR. Lear, a global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems, headquartered in Southfield, Michigan, has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. It's a position they've earned by engineering and manufacturing Superior vehicle technology with constant reliability and excellence. But what really sets Lear apart is their track record of responsibility, honoring commitments to the team, and the unwavering support of the communities where they do business. A diverse global culture that understands that they can achieve more together. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision, one that is connected, electrified, and sustainable, and one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. Hi, I'm Rick Edelman with a warning. Millions of people are buying stocks they think are low in price. Watch out. A lot of investors have no idea the risks they're taking, but you're holding steady, right? You haven't made a trade all year. That could be a problem, too. With COVID on the scene, you might need more in cash than before. Maybe you need to reduce your market risk as well. Are you sure your portfolio is COVID-ready? Call us at Edelman Financial Engines, and let's review your investments and your entire financial situation and see if you're in good shape as this crisis continues. It's not the time to go it alone. Call us at 888-PLAN-RIC. Talk with one of my colleagues here at Edelman Financial Engines. We'll review your portfolio and make sure you're ready for what comes next. And we'll help you get through this crisis just like we've helped clients get through every crisis for the past 35 years. Call us at 888-PLAN-RIC. That's 888-PLAN-RIC. Online at ricedelman.com. What do you get when you talk to a Dell Technologies advisor? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get someone who understands there's an art to listening, Mm -hmm. who's able to hear more than what's being said and can provide tailored Mm -hmm. small business solutions that make you feel truly heard. I understand. Let's get started. For advice on everything from laptops Mm -hmm. to the cloud and solutions powered by Intel vPro platform, call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. Attention SSI and other federal benefit recipients. If you did not file a tax return last year and have children under 17, you must act now to get the $500 economic impact payment per child this year. You must provide the IRS your child's information by September 30th. Go to irs.gov and use the non-filer tool by September 30th. That's irs.gov. 
This message produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Hi, I'm Dennis Miller from the Dennis Miller Option, which is my podcast. I always assume once they gave it that title, they pretty much had to, well, they had to call me to host it. But not every cause is the end of the world as we know it. And geez, we're turning our things that we usually went to into the belly of the beast. I'm talking politics, pop culture, current events, pretty much anything else that pops into my head. It's sort of stream of consciousness. Listen and subscribe to the Dennis Miller Option for free. On Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your shows. You're hearing the Paul W. Smith Show, News Talk 760, WJR. We meet a lot of interesting people, including Bridget Godvin, the academic director of the Student Connection. Bridget Flynn Godvin, for more than 20 years, has worked to transform students into capable learners. She credits any success to knowing how to recognize the unique talents in every individual. That's part of it, paying attention and clearly understanding, recognizing those unique talents we all have. It is an approach to life that Bridget developed through her own education, especially the lessons learned and examples followed at, well, the Academy of the Sacred Heart, where she studied in grades 1 through 12, at Marquette University, and even then at Michigan State University, earning her degrees at each of those places. And we're so happy to welcome you, Bridget. Thank you. Tell me, uh, as uh, the Director of Academic Programs for the Student Connection, what you're doing now, what the Student Connection is, and how it's working. Well, the Student Connection, we were founded in 2007 to help students succeed, to learn their unique learning style, and to show them ways that they could understand concepts they were having trouble with, write papers, read more efficiently. And um, it was about building a relationship. I say a tutor is much different than a teacher. A tutor walks the road with you and you have to develop, you can't be afraid to ask a tutor questions. They're there to help you and they're there to make you succeed. So um, you have to build a good relationship. So I always thought that a good relationship was face-to-face. And with the times we're in, we've had to, the new word, pivot, and do everything FaceTime, Skype, um, although now we are back to -to face-to-face with masks and social distancing. but we've still been able to um, help students learn um, how they learn. Uh, let me uh, g- give you a question I hadn't planned on asking, but now I will based on what you just said, Bridget, and that is what What do you think about schools, our regular schools, getting uh, back to face-to-face? Um, I would love them to get back to face-to-face. Um, knowing I was doing this interview, I asked my students who – were here throughout the week, um, how they were doing, and all of them said, I miss being able to see my teacher, to see the reaction. I miss being able to ask a question. Um, I have a student who is not particularly fond of school, and he said, I never thought I'd say this to you, but I miss school. (laughs) (laughs) So. They just, a a young man told me last night, he said, um, I am afraid to ask a question when we're Zooming in class. Hmm. He he said, I don't know why. He said, I just think it's the screen, but it makes me nervous. And he said, I, and he's a student that I know asked a lot of questions. He's very dedicated to his studies and he does very well. But he said the Zooming has just added a level that makes him nervous, shall we say. So I would love to see them get back face-to-face, but I know everyone has to make their own decision with that. Well, you've been doing this. You've been, you know, helping transform students into capable learners for over 20 years. This is unlike anything you've ever faced before as a teacher. Oh, very, very much so. And I have to say, we have a nonprofit arm, and the children in the city have been really impacted. I feel that the gaps are going to be huge. 
Yeah, this is something. I'm afraid this is something we're going to learn about and pay for for years to come, frankly. Meanwhile, back to the more positive uh, aspects of uh, what uh, Bridget Godvin and her husband do uh, as academic director of the Student Connection, believing that every child learns differently. So it's not a question of selling packages, but customizing a learning program for each student. Yes, and that's very important. And even my students in the city, I take them each individually and I find that you need to see how do they read, how do they do math, how do they approach a subject to find out how they learn best and then find the right fit for them so they can move forward in a more positive way. Well, and that's important. And, uh, uh, there's got to be something in your background that led you to all of this, Bridget, this kind of commitment now for the past 20 plus years. Well, there are two things. I was a mom and both my kids learned differently. So, of course, I wanted to learn everything I could to help them succeed in school. And I attended many seminars, read many books and discovered that my son had ADD. And a lot of teachers didn't know anything about ADD. So I'd have experts come in and give teacher trainings and kind of people would begin to ask me questions because they knew that I was up on the latest techniques and things. And then also I used to um, run airlines parking, the one with the yellow buses. And I... I learned through that that a lot of the people, well, a lot of the drivers who worked for me, I discovered couldn't read. So I'd try and help them learn how to read. It was amazing how they compensated in life. And I felt that with a mentor, they could have had a much different life. So those things kind of led me to where I am today. Well, good work. And, uh, Uh, from the heart. Bridget, uh, thank you for being with us. Bridget Flynn Godvin, the uh, academic director of the Student Connection. Thanks for uh, being with us. By the way, I should say, thestudentconnect.com, I believe, is the best way to be in touch with you. Yes. Yes. Thestudentconnect.com. Thank you so much, Bridget. We appreciate the work you're doing. Thank you. Well, thank you, and thank you for listening. As we continue on the Paul W. Smith Show at WJR. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. If finding a high-impact hire is a serious goal for your business, use Indeed. Their flexible payment options mean better bang for your buck with no long-term contracts. Indeed will even give you a $75 credit for your first sponsored job post at Indeed.com slash high-impact. Terms and conditions apply. Let's check it, our WJR traffic and weather first in Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by Restore Wellness Center. Are you experiencing nagging body pain? The Restore Wellness Center can help relieve or eliminate neck and back pain, arthritis, tendinitis, muscle soreness, and more. Call the state's best non-invasive laser therapy treatment centers today. Get your first treatment free. Call 800-935-5959 in Brighton, Shelby, and Bloomfield or RestoreWellnessCenter.com. 75 uh, southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road. This is in Grand Blanc Township. Shut down there due to a multi-vehicle crash. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Supercar Wash. Supercar Wash is all about making your car shine for just $12.95 a month. You have unlimited access to all 11 Supercar Wash locations throughout Metro Detroit their free vacuums and free hand towel drying make Super Car Wash the best in the business. Look super. Go unlimited today. Lots of sunshine expected this weekend. Get out, enjoy it while we can. A high of 80 today, a clear sky tonight, low 60. Partly cloudy on Saturday, 81, and a high of 80 on Sunday under partly cloudy skies. Fog, 57 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Dick Hafner in about three minutes. Mommy, can you help me with my math? Hey, sorry, I'm about to start a call. Where's your father? Hey, bud, I'll be right there. Give me a second with mommy. Have you seen this mailer from Gary Peters? Who? Gary Peters. Should I know him? Apparently. He's our senator, and now it's an election year, so I'm sure he hopes so. Some senator he is. 
Yeah, I've seen the ads and decided to look things up myself. Turns out he's pretty much the Invisible Man. The Invisible Man? Yeah, he's been a politician in Michigan for 30 years. Oh, he must have done something for us in that time. Sure, if you count voting to raise our taxes 106 times. He voted to take our money. Yeah, and get this, he skipped work while getting rich in public office. Blew off 84% of small business hearings and 80% of hearings on pandemic preparedness while doubling his personal wealth. And now he wants our vote. Dad! Okay, I'm coming. Hank has joined the meeting. Hey, Hank, you won't believe what I just heard about Gary Peters. Who? I'm John James. I'm running for the Senate, and I approve this ad. Paid for by John James for Senate. Heart attacks and strokes can be devastating and even deadly. Good news, they're 100% preventable. Listen to Dr. Brian Collender, MD, this Sunday at 12 noon to discuss this and more. Don't forget, that's this Sunday at 12 noon on News Talk 760 WJR. Boyne Golf presents Michigan's Magnificent Ten. Ten extraordinary courses set among three incredible resorts with plenty of wide open spaces where the extra long days let you play and play and play. And when you're done, a variety of amenities and charming towns await. The golf's so varied, the accommodation so welcoming, each visits a new experience. So visit BoyneGolf.com to plan your time here. That's BoyneGolf.com. America has always taken pride in our ability to innovate and produce. Manufacturing is a pillar in America. That enables each of us to support our families and innovate. Manufacturing companies, large and small, are recommitting to that beautiful phrase, made in the USA. And they're committing to Eckhart. Eckhart is helping manufacturing companies reshore jobs to the USA. And they'd like to help you. To learn more about Eckhart, visit EckhartUSA.com. That's E-C-K-H-A-R-T-U-S-A.com. Eckhart, for the life of your line. Don't miss the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. on WJR. Learn how you can earn a full-time income working from home as a trader. That's the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. The question line is 888-646-8787. Protesters in cities across the country have been demonstrating following a Kentucky grand jury decision to not charge three police officers in the death of Breonna Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky. Vehicles hitting protesters are getting a lot of attention. At least two protesters were hurt in hit-and-run incidents in Denver and upstate New York. In Buffalo, video shows a pickup truck driving directly into a group of demonstrators who pounded on the side of the truck and yelled for the driver to stop before a protester on a bicycle was hit. A driver in Los Angeles was arrested for hitting a protester. President Trump has weighed in on the death of Breonna Taylor. President Trump offered his regards to the family of Breonna Taylor after a grand jury in Kentucky declined to file homicide charges in her death. So many people suffering, so many people needlessly suffering, but with respect to Breonna, we give our regards to the family. The president declined to address specifics about the case, preferring instead to offer support for both Taylor and more broadly, law enforcement. A high honor for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's flag-draped casket will rest on the Lincoln catafalque and statuary hall. The late justice will become the first woman to lie in state here. I'm an historic time for an historic woman. Did more for the equality of women than anybody in our history. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other congressional leaders, including Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, will attend a memorial service for Justice Ginsburg. For the past two days, Ginsburg has laid in repose at the U.S. Supreme Court as thousands of mourners pass by outdoors to pay respects. On Capitol Hill, Jared Halpern, Fox News. Michigan legislature voting to make it easier for clerks to process absentee ballots by letting them start a day earlier than normal in getting ready to count those ballots. The presidents of the University of Michigan, Michigan State, and Wayne State say that it'll be another year before their students return to classrooms full time. Michigan Governor Whitmer has joined forces with the New York Governor Cuomo in fall, uh, calling for a congressional oversight investigation of the Trump administration's handling of COVID-19. Whitmer and the other Democratic governors say the president made it a political issue and hampered the actual federal relief efforts. Members of the Canadian Auto Workers Union, Unifor, will begin voting tomorrow on a new three-year contract reached with the Ford Motor Company. WJR News Time 632. The U.S. Attorney's Office is warning parents to keep a watch on your children's activities online. Officials say the arrest of a 48 year old man in Kansas 
in the sexual exploitation of an eight-year-old girl in Bloomfield Township is a good example of the dangers that are out there and what happens when parents don't watch what their children are doing on computers. The girl's parents said that she played the game Roblox and became friends with this man, identified as Clinton McElroy, a registered sex offender who convinced the girl to send him many photos of her in various stages of undress. On Wall Street, the Dow futures are up slightly after a gain yesterday. I'm Dick Hafner, WJR News. More coming up with Paul W. Donald Trump says we're not safe in Biden's America, but we're living in Trump's America now. And 200,000 Americans have died from the virus that he lied about. The simple truth is Donald Trump failed to protect America. So now he's trying to scare America. Mr. Trump, you want to talk about fear? Do you know if people are afraid they're going to get COVID? They're afraid they're going to get sick and die. And that is in no small part because of you. Joe Biden will protect the American people, putting our safety above all else. I want a safe America, safe from COVID, safe from crime and looting, safe from racially motivated violence. And I promise you this, we will do better. There's not a single thing beyond our capacity when we decide to do it together. I'm Joe Biden, candidate for president, and I approve this message. Paid for by Biden for president. This is Mike Donovan, host of Not Free America on Sundays at 5 p.m. right here on WJR AM 760 in Detroit. This weekend on Not Free America Radio, economic disaster looms as our GDP crashes. What does losing a third of our economy really mean? Meanwhile, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo takes quarantining travelers to a new extreme. And we talk facts about qualified immunity in the American police state. Join us Sundays at 5 p.m. right here on Not Free America Radio. At Beaumont, we know change is constant. And while the last year has seen so much, through it all, we've never stopped changing for the better. Our experience helped us to create COVID-19 rapid testing and safer return to work screening programs. And our commitment to the community drove us to treat the most COVID-19 patients in all of Michigan. At Beaumont, we'll always be ready for change. But the one thing that will never change is our commitment to you. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith, presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. And with thanks to uh, our colleague Curtis Paul, the social media guru at the uh, radio station, uh, we are staying online on uh, WJR's Facebook page, as well as you can find us on YouTube and, of course, at 760 on the AM dial. But you can also watch us this entire show, our special broadcast, our WJR Paul W. Smith Show Road Show featuring FCA. And if you do uh, tune in online, you get to see some great video that uh, the good folks at FCA have put together and uh, Curtis is putting up on our screens. In our earlier conversation, I was trying to think of the name of the place near Garland uh, that you have to stop by, and I hope they're still doing well. Tally's. Thank you, Ken Mattel. It's Tally's with those great uh, burgers. And then, of course, Patrick Mendez uh, reminding us on the drive up to stop, stop by Tony's in Birch Run. Uh, but if you do and you eat one of those uh, unbelievable meals that uh, you out of a side of bacon and it's a pound of bacon or you have a bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich, it's a pound of bacon. You may not make it all the way uh, up to uh, uh, to uh, wherever you're headed. If you're headed up north beyond Birch Run. Meanwhile, we have Lions football. This is Lions radio uh, coming up this weekend and we're looking forward to it. Our WJR countdown to the kickoff starts at 1.30 this Sunday as the Lions uh, take on the Cardinals. And uh, to talk about it, the guys who are so very much involved in all of this, uh, Mike O'Hara, DetroitLions.com, columnist extraordinaire. And, of course, the one and only Wizard of Lions, Steve Courtney, here on this Friday morning. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, good morning Happy Friday, one and all. Uh, well, for the 24th time in franchise history, your Detroit Lions have started off 0-2. Now, the caveat to that unfortunate number is they have bounced back to reach the playoffs only once. That was in 1995. They begin to try and dig out of the hole Sunday in the desert 
against the 2-0 Cardinals. We'll talk about it now with Mo Better Blues. Michael, how are you, sir? Good morning, Steve. I'm doing just fine. Yeah, we've got ourselves yeah, sounds, a little bit of a like situation here. Sounds like you're doing just fine. My goodness, Michael. No, I, I, I really am. I'm doing oh. fine. I'm I doing thought great. maybe you yeah. already have read the Detroit News like I have, where Wojo says doomsday defense, Lions mistake prone unit, as bad as it seems. It's it it's he's it's like there's no hope at all. Do you know how many times I've read that column? <laughs> Come on. I'm used to it. Well, you know, Mike, here's the thing, you know, and we've heard from uh, the coaching staff, obviously, Matt Patricia, as well as the players. And, you know what? They know what the story is. They know what they need to do. Uh, finish football games. Um, the challenge ahead is not going to be easy. Kyler Murray uh, throwing at a 66.7 percent clip, 516 yards, a couple touchdowns, a couple picks. But he's also the leading rusher. So. Not only does this defense, which has struggled this year, have to find a way to get them off the field, they've got to contain Kyler Murray. Right, absolutely. That's a good point by you. And really, and, you know, one of the columns we, we do for DetroitLions.com is final thoughts. And one of my final thoughts is that really I'm more concerned about, you know, Kyler Murray running the ball than I am throwing the ball. The, statis the statistics you just mentioned bear that out. Look, I think he's a tremendous young player, and he's going to be—he's already a star in this league. I think he's going to be a great player in this league to go with that. But look, he's got two touchdown passes and two interceptions. Who does that scare in this day and age? It scares nobody. But the other side of it is, he's run for almost 160 yards, and he's averaging 7.4 yards, you know, per t per attempt. And I'll tell you one thing: if you ever like want to go online and see something just a great athletic performance, look at the 21-yard touchdown run he had in last week's win over Washington. He looked like a downhill skier, just just effortlessly going, cuts and this and that until he got to the end zone. Just terrific. So to me, I think stop that, and I think that's the most important thing, in addition to not letting him make big plays like he did last year in the fourth quarter and then again in overtime to help create that overtime tie last year. Well, if they're, you're looking for a reason to be optimistic, and quite frankly, Mike, uh, this Lions offense has shown signs that they can put points up on the board. Kenny Galladay uh, expected to see his first action of the season. He's been battling that hamstring uh, back to limited practice, not to mention Big V at that right tackle position, been hindered by the foot. He's back to limited practice as well. Be interesting to see the, uh, the effects these two gentlemen have on the project here. Well, absolutely. And Kenny Galladay to me is really, I think we might take him a little bit for granted, but really a special player. And one thing about him, no matter what, throughout from the first day, first game of his career as a rookie, when he caught two touchdown passes in the fourth quarter against the Cardinals through last year, when he played without Matthew Stafford for eight games, he just plays and produces. I mean, this, this young player has really made a case for himself as a good player in his own right. He doesn't need anybody's help just goes out and plays and plays and plays and produces really a remarkable player that we see right before our eyes developing into just one of the best players, best wide receivers anyway in the National Football League. And, and getting him back really is really going to give them some opportunities to get some deep balls you know, down the field, which, which Matthew Stafford was hooking up with Kenny and, and Marvin Jones Jr. And, and some others last year before he went out with that back injury. Speaking of receivers, uh, in one of the more unbelievable trades maybe in the history of the league, the Cardinals able to snag DeAndre Hopkins, 219 yards receiving already to go along with one touchdown. Uh, clearly, well, and then you can't talk about the Cardinals without bringing in the future Hall of Famer Larry Fitzgerald, Mike. Again, this defense uh, is going to be uh, challenged. Oh, absolutely. And when I talk, said that in one of the big plays that Murray made last year, in the fourth quarter, a third and 14 deep in their own territory, 41, I'm sorry, 45 yard catch by Larry Fitzgerald, age of 30, in his 16th year at the age of 36. You can't let things like that happen. Look, he's a great player, but that should never happen. But that's what separates the good players from the great players. Larry Fitzgerald's a great player because he makes great plays when you don't expect it. But look, he's not what he was anymore, but he still has 11 receptions on 12 targets. And the point with that is you throw him the ball, he'll catch it. All right, Mo. Adrian Peterson referring to this as a must win. 
here we are going into week three. Uh, not a whole lot of success over the years in the desert. Uh, what do you see uh, happening with this thing? Well, I think it's going to be a tight game. I really did. Of course, I said that last week about Green Bay, and I was right until it wasn't a tight game. Right. I think this will be. Look, this is the eighth <laughs> time in the last Yeah, Paul, you'll get your chance. This was the, no. this be the eighth time in nine years that the Lions have played in Arizona. I think someone's trying to sell them real estate or a house or something like that. But they play this team you know, pretty tough. They, they beat them two years ago, had a tie last year. I see it as a close game again. But 27-24, Arizona Cardinals. But it's an eminently beatable team, too. All right. Well, obviously, a uh, win is much needed uh, moving forward, Mike. That would be awesome. Appreciate your time, as always, sir. And we'll uh, we'll do the uh, post-game discussion come Monday morning, my friend. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. See you, Michael. Have a great weekend. Mike O'Hara, DetroitLions.com, and, of course, our own Steve Courtney on Lions Radio at uh, 644. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans via bill credits when you switch, plus taxes and fees. Stop by for details. Over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p. See T-Mobile.com. And let's uh, take a listen and a look, too, if you'd like. We've got it, our WJR traffic and weather first at Dana Clark. 75 southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road still shut down there due to a multi-vehicle crash. Police are on the scene. That's in Grand Blank Township. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Gordon Chevrolet. Gordon Chevrolet, where not only do you pick your payment, but now pick your program. Need to pull ahead your lease? Do you need GM employee pricing or a low payment with zero interest like Gordon Chevrolet? Help you find it on Ford Road just west of Merriman in Garden City. GordonChevrolet.com. Gordon Chevrolet. Find new roads. Well, it's been tough to beat this run of weather. I've seen very little rainfall, and I think that trend's going to be continuing. And the warm weather will continue. 10 degrees above average. About that, we'll park it near 80 once again today after a nice, comfortable start. Plenty of blue sky to finish. 79. Tonight, 59. Suburbs a little cooler. Weekend, cloud sunshine with highs in the low 80s. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ray Stagecom, News Talk 760 WJR. 56 degrees on our WJR Roadshow, the Paul W. Smith Show, and we're featuring today FCA. Last Friday and the next few Fridays ahead, featuring the uh, very important auto industry. And uh, in fact, we're staying online, if you will, our WJR FaceTime feed and YouTube. You can watch us. Uh, as well as listen to us. And, of course, we're there on 760 WJR, and we salute all our folks in their cars or in their homes listening on the radio, as well as those who are watching us. And they're seeing some great video of the new releases and the new season, if you will, for FCA. In a moment, we'll talk to Tim Koniskis, uh, and uh, he is the global head of Alfa Romeo, head of passenger cars, Dodge, SRT, Chrysler, and Fiat of FCA North America. So we're looking forward to that conversation with Tim and you'll see him in videos. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, Mike Koval Jr. will be here. He's uh, on a video right now as we speak. And since we're talking automotive, let's do automotive views. The one and only Jason Stein, publisher of Automotive News, presented by Yazaki. Yazaki, fully connected to vehicle electrification. Yazaki. Jason? One of the biggest stories in the auto industry dropped this week, one that should not have surprised many and could lay the foundation for more sweeping changes to come. California plans to ban the sale of new gasoline-powered passenger cars and trucks starting in 2035. It's a dramatic move to shift to EVs and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. California encouraged other states to take similar action. The target would require the sale of nothing but zero emission passenger vehicles starting in 2035 and could be the most significant to date by a U.S. state. California is the first. It won't be the last. With environmental ideology taking over public policy in many states, this looks like the road ahead. But one note, California's goals have not always come to pass and in some cases have been pushed back. For the auto industry, it's good news and bad news. Good is the certainty that provides over what has become a political football at times. The bad? Get ready to invest in real electric technology. There's no holding back now. Maybe. With this week's Automotive View, I'm Jason Stein, publisher of Automotive News. 
As the auto industry's reliant on internal combustion engine shifts to electric, electrification will be the foundation for any type of advanced mobility. And with more than 75 years of wire, harness, electrical, and data solutions experience, Yazaki is your development partner for electric vehicles. Yazaki's customers have access to a comprehensive high-voltage products and systems portfolio. And the company's deep understanding of global automotive standards makes it the best choice to help drive and optimize your future vehicle's electrification systems and power distribution architecture. As a full-service supplier, Yozaki offers extensive additive manufacturing and rapid prototype capabilities. Its wide range of high-voltage research and testing resources helps customers integrate vehicle electrification, connectivity, and autonomy, fully connected to vehicle electrification. Learn more at yozaki-na.com. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle, to the toughest pickup truck box available, a next-generation electric vehicle battery case, or the complete body of a world-class performance car. Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance, and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities, powered by science, brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. Heart attacks and strokes can be devastating and even deadly. Good news, they're 100% preventable. Listen to Dr. Brian Collender, MD, this Sunday at 12 noon to discuss this and more. Don't forget, that's this Sunday at 12 noon on News Talk 760 WJR. Mommy, can you help me with my math? Hey, sorry, I'm about to start a call. Where's your father? Hey, bud, I'll be right there. Give me a second with Mommy. Have you seen this mailer from Gary Peters? Who? Gary Peters. Should I know him? Apparently. He's our senator, and now it's an election year, so I'm sure he hopes so. <laughs> Some senator he is. Yeah, I've seen the ads and decided to look things up myself. Turns out he's pretty much the invisible man. The invisible man? Yeah, he's been a politician in Michigan for 30 years. Oh, he must have done something for us in that time. Sure, if you count voting to raise our taxes 106 times. He voted to take our money. Yeah, and get this, he skipped work while getting rich in public office. Blew off 84% of small business hearings and 80% of hearings on pandemic preparedness while doubling his personal wealth. And now he wants our vote. Dad! Okay, I'm coming. Hank has joined the meeting. Hey, Hank, you won't believe what I just heard about Gary Peters. Who? I'm John James. I'm running for the Senate, and I approve this ad. Paid for by John James for Senate. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. Beautiful weekend ahead of us, starting off on this Friday, uh, talking about some beautiful vehicles from FCA and a guy behind them all. And you've seen him if you're watching on social media. And I'll just explain to you, if you're not, the guy who is the head of Dodge brand, the global head of Alfa Romeo, head of passenger cars, Dodge, SRT, Chrysler, Fiat, FCA, North America, the one and only Tim Kaniskas, who is uh, standing by and online with us as well on social media. Tim, always a pleasure. And boy, you've got your hands full with lots to talk about. That's for sure. Morning, Paul. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And you're doing well. You know what I think about all the time when I think about all these fabulous uh, Hellcat to vehicles, whether it's the uh, Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat, the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye, which we're going to talk about too, and the Dodge Challenger SRT Superstock. Uh, I, I got a call a couple of years ago from one of the big deals in uh, New York from our company, who I never used to talk to, but he called and had a request. Could I help our nighttime colleague, Michael Savage, get a Hellcat? Uh, that's how hot they were and hard for him to get them. And I'm happy to say you guys stepped up and, and helped him. And he's a car collector and he loves his Hellcat. Well, look at you now with the uh, Dodge SRT introducing the most powerful SUV ever, the 2021 Durango SRT Hellcat. My, oh my, that's for the for the family man or woman on the go fast. Uh, well, I got to tell you, five years ago when we first came out with these cars, uh, we we knew they'd be fun cars. We didn't know they would become part of pop, pop culture. You know, they're in music videos or everywhere. People don't know anything about cars, know the name Hellcat. So it, it's been it's been a fun ride. 
It has been a, a fun ride, and uh, and you've enjoyed that ride as well. And and let's uh, feature uh, the the three mostly uh, important vehicles that we're talking about, including uh, the demon possessed 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Talk to me about that. What's new with that? Yeah, you know, the, the Red Eye. We came out with the Charger Wide Body Hellcat a year ago, and when we came out with that car. Everybody said as soon as we came out with it, we had a Challenger that had the red eye engine in. And the difference between is you got a Hellcat that's got 707 horsepower, and then you got the red eye, which was the basic configuration of what the Demon was, and that had 797 horsepower. So as soon as we came out with the Charger with 700 horsepower, everybody said, oh, this is awesome, but are you going to put the red eye in it next? It's, that community is just insatiable. If there's more that can be had, they want more. They're always pushing for more. So we're like, it's a four-door family capable large sedan you don't need 800 horsepower now nah, need doesn't come into it we, you know we're <laughs> we're we're in the want business we're not in the need business right i wonder what the what the cutoff in horsepower is where we've gone from the need to the want uh, but boy have you done that for sure with the world's fastest mass produced sedan and a top speed of 203 miles per hour but uh, sometimes it's not when you're going fast, it's when the car is sitting there and the sound of that Hellcat, the wonderful music that the exhaust makes, that's unbeatable. Yeah, I got to tell you that uh, I, I like to remote start mine because I love to be, you know, 50 feet away and hear it start up. And luckily <laughs> today I'm doing this online with you. So my neighbors didn't have to hear it start up first thing this morning. because <laughs> They don't usually enjoy that so much. I love that. Start it with the remote key and then proudly. While enjoying that rumble and sound, proudly walk up to the car, get in it, and drive away. I think that's very cool. Absolutely. That's all part of the experience, right? It is indeed. And uh, what an experience it is when you get into the 2020 Challenger SRT Super Stock, which is the newest Dodge drag racing machine, although all of them are drag raceable. What about this one now being extra special? You know, this one's funny. We... Uh... We came out with the Red Eye and the Challenger, and it's an absolutely amazing car, but there's been one thing that's been bothering us about the car since the day that we launched it. If you casually drive it every single day, um, and it's your, your cruiser, your, your boulevard muscle car, nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go to the track on the weekends, it was just overpowering the tires. Even with 305 Pirellis and the wide body kit, it just had too much low end torque. Um, and, and we joke around, we say spinning isn't winning. Your car's only as fast as your tires are. Um, so we needed to put more traction in it. So the whole story behind the super stock is we went back to the toolbox and we took a, a very well sorted out suspension package, uh, the brake package and the wheels and tires off of the demon. And we put that on uh, the super stock, which allowed us to pick up a significant improvement in our zero to 60 time. Uh, we're now down to 3.25, zero to 60 and 10 fives and a quarter mile pure stock trim to uh, to say that uh, dodge brand has been doing well is uh, an understatement you've been making history and uh, much through your work tim and your team's work and uh, you've gotten some great uh, uh, i i believe uh, that i was reading here that you have uh, the first ever domestic brand to achieve a couple of very important awards tell us about those if you would yeah, this year, for the first time in 34 years, is the first domestic ever to take first place in J.D. Power's initial quality. And the exact same year, we also won the J.D. Power's Appeal Award. So we took back-to-back -back wins in highest quality and highest appeal from our customers. We're super proud of that. Dealers are now taking orders for the new 2021 uh, model year Pacifica. Uh, FCA has sold more than 15 million minivans since you invented the segment in 1983 for the 1984 model year. Uh, it's it, Things are all going well, and we're glad, and it's all uh, a very much so a part of your work and your team's work as the guy, as the global head of Alfa Romeo, head of passenger cars, Dodge, SRT, Chrysler, Fiat, FCA, North America, Mr. Tim Koniskis. Tim Always nice talking with you. Thank you, Paul. Good talking you, to you. You have a nice morning, and I'm afraid the neighbors will now hear you yes, leaving for work. Take care. I think it's music to their ears as we continue on WJR at 657. This report is sponsored by Dell. When you talk to a Dell Technologies advisor, 
You get someone who understands there's an art to listening and can provide small business solutions that make you feel truly heard. For solutions powered by Intel V Pro platform, call an advisor today at 877 Dell. We've got it, our WJR traffic and weather first and Dana Clark. We are still watching that closure this morning along 75 southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road shut down there due to a multi-vehicle crash as in Grand Blanc Township. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel. Get some plans this weekend outside. It's going to be great. It's going to remain dry as well and temps remaining in the 80s. Today, lots of sunshine, a high of 80. Tonight, clear skies, low 60. A high of 81 on Saturday under partly cloudy skies and partly cloudy once again on Sunday, a high of 80. Clear skies, fog in some spots, 57 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Dick Hafner in two minutes. Donald Trump says we're not safe in Biden's America, but we're living in Trump's America now. And 200,000 Americans have died from the virus that he lied about. The simple truth is, Donald Trump failed to protect America. So now he's trying to scare America. Mr. Trump, you want to talk about fear? Do you know if people are afraid they're going to get COVID? They're afraid they're going to get sick and die. And that is in no small part because of you. Joe Biden will protect the American people, putting our safety above all else. I want a safe America, safe from COVID, safe from crime and looting, safe from racially motivated violence. I promise you this, we will do better. There's not a single thing beyond our capacity when we decide to do it together. I'm Joe Biden, candidate for president, and I approve this message. Paid for by Biden for president. Tune in to the Rich Paul Show Saturdays at 9 a.m. and Mondays at 7 p.m. This week on the program, we're going to talk football and financial planning along with some uncommon sense. So make sure you tune in for all of that here on the Rich Paul Show Saturdays at 9 a.m. Mondays at 7 p.m. WJR Detroit and WDVD HD2 Detroit, the great voice of the Great Lakes, 760 WJR, where Detroit comes to talk. The protest demonstrations continue in Louisville, Kentucky, and many other cities across the country for a second night after the grand jury in Louisville, Kentucky, brought no murder charges against the officers involved in the death of Breonna Taylor in March. In several of the cities, vehicles hit protesters, and there were some arrests of the drivers. The team gunman facing charges for killing two and wounding another during violent protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin last month faces an extradition hearing today. The Senate Republican leader McConnell says the effort to confirm a new justice to the Supreme Court before the election follows precedent of American history. There have been 15 occasions where a president has nominated during an election year someone to the Supreme Court. In eight of those 15 occasions, the president's party was the party of the Senate. And seven out of eight times, they were confirmed. The president will announce his choice tomorrow afternoon. Will mail-in voting really result in election fraud? The president and his supporters have been voicing that for some time. Millions of mail-in ballots have been sent out. In Greenville, Wisconsin, warning bells are ringing after three trays of mail, including absentee ballots, were found in a roadside ditch Tuesday morning. A USPS spokesman says the United States Postal Inspection Service immediately began investigating and we reserve further comment on this matter until that is complete. In Austin, Texas, 134 felony charges were filed against a county commissioner and three others for trying to rig the 2018 Democratic primary with a fraudulent mail-in ballot scheme using able-bodied young people posing as disabled. Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton said mail ballots are vulnerable to diversion, coercion, and influence by organized vote harvesting schemes. That's Fox News reporter Rick Leventhal. Michigan lawmakers have voted to allow clerks to start processing absentee ballots earlier than normal. Right now, they cannot remove ballots from outer envelopes until 7 a.m. on Election Day. This bill will allow them to be open between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Monday trying to speed up the absentee ballot count. The state house has passed a bill to allow bars to stay open until 4 a.m. in Michigan. The last call right now, of course, is 2 a.m. 
The Restaurant and Bar Association has been trying for years to get a later closing. The association now says many bars and restaurants will close without some help. Governor Whitmer plans a meeting with her department heads to help her with her pledge to make Michigan carbon neutral. The Food and Drug Administration has issued a warning over serious problems with high doses of Benadryl after many teenagers have ended up in the hospital or dead after taking the Benadryl Challenge on TikTok. Evil Knievel's son has sued Disney over a character in Toy Story. Evil Knievel's son is suing the Walt Disney Company and Pixar over the character Duke Kaboom that was voiced by Keanu Reeves in Toy Story 4. Woody me. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. <laughs> Although Evil's name is never mentioned, his son Kelly Knievel filed a trademark infringement lawsuit that accused the company of improperly basing the new character on his dad. The character is described by Pixar as a motorcycle riding toy based on Canada's greatest stuntman. Knievel was an American stuntman who, in a motorcycle, jumped over the famous Caesars Palace fountain. His son is seeking unspecified damages. Michelle Polino, Fox News. Dow Jones Industrial Futures are down slightly. I'm Dick Hafner, WJR News. More coming up with Paul W. Hiring can be challenging, but ZipRecruiter makes it fast and easy. We talked to Monica Starks, who needed to hire for a pivotal role at her company, GS Group. As the owner of a construction company, finding the right people is a very difficult task. So I use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter's powerful matching technology identifies the right people for your job and actively invites them to apply, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Monica did, and that's how she found Lamont, her new project superintendent. The job is so perfect for me. I had a career breakthrough. I would have never found this job if it wasn't for ZipRecruiter. With ZipRecruiter, we've hired everyone from accountants to project managers to field scientists. With ZipRecruiter, we get hiring results. See why four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Fall is here and it's a great time to stop in during our Jeep Adventure Days at Golling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Hi friends, Bill Golling telling you about some of the great lease program going on all September long. Qualified Chrysler employees can lease a 2020 Jeep Cherokee Limited 4x4 for just $249 a month. Leases for 36 months, 10,000 miles a year with 1,000 down. For the finest in sales, service, and selection, come see us. You'll be glad you did. That's Golling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bloomfield Hills, Chelsea, Roseville, and online at Golling.com. Donald Trump says we're not safe in Biden's America, but we're living in Trump's America now. And 200,000 Americans have died from the virus that he lied about. The simple truth is Donald Trump failed to protect America. So now he's trying to scare America. Mr. Trump, you want to talk about fear? You know, if people are afraid they're going to get COVID. They're afraid they're going to get sick and die. And that is in no small part because of you. Joe Biden will protect the American people, putting our safety above all else. I want a safe America, safe from COVID, safe from crime and looting, safe from racially motivated violence. And I promise you this, we will do better. There's not a single thing beyond our capacity when we decide to do it together. I'm Joe Biden, candidate for president, and I approve this message. Paid for by Biden for president. This is the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. No official auto show taking place this year. We're bringing the show to you. Today's stop highlights FCA. The WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith is presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. Here's Paul. And we thank all of those fine sponsors for making it possible for to continue our tradition of the Paul W. Smith Show for years now, almost 25, since I've been back home to WJR as we pay tribute to the auto industry. We have traveled the world as far away as China and everywhere in between for the various motor shows. With COVID, nobody's doing a heck of a lot of traveling now, and so we do it the way we do things on the radio and on social media. That's... That means you can find us 
on our WJR FaceTime page and also YouTube and wherever else you do any of your social media. You can watch us throughout the entire show and listen to us, too. And, of course, at 760 WJR on this Friday morning, September 25th, the 269th day of 2020, there are 97 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. And uh, along the way on social media, you'll see some fabulous footage from uh, FCA. Thank you to FCA for providing that with all their new products. And thanks to Curtis Paul, our social media guru at News Talk 760 WJR, for getting that online and uh, uh, our guests online as well. And coming up, Jeff Sloan, the founder and CEO of Startup Nation, will be here with our WJR business beat. Uh, fascinating story there, Dick, about Duke Kaboom, Evil Knievel, and his son, <laughs> Kelly Knievel. <laughs> I, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, I don't play one on TV. But I think that's going to be a tough putt for Kelly to say, wait a minute, this was based on my dad. Because, you know, even though Evil Knievel was the most famous daredevil, he was not the only one. No. And, in fact, anybody can try to do that. We just saw that a couple of weeks ago on the Fort Street Bridge right here in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, that is absolutely right. Well, put. <laughs> and and it's happened a number of times. We uh, we do have, and I was out running around, so I don't know. Did you have the uh, the multiple people wounded in a knife attack near the former offices of the satirical newspaper that was under attack a few years ago in Paris, uh, Charlie Hebdo? In no, Paris? I did not. Well, that has just happened, uh, apparently, minutes ago, as officers are actively hunting for two suspects that are on okay, the run. So there's after. another terrorist, another terrorist attack. Another terrorist attack. Yeah. This one in Paris, at a familiar site of terrorist activity. There, the now former offices of Charlie Hebdo. I would assume that they would realize there's no one there from that satirical newspaper anymore. But police have cordoned off the area including those former uh, Charlie Hebdo uh, offices. Mm -hmm. After then, a, suspect, a suspect package was also noticed nearby. So we're not the only country having their hands full. Um, every country around the world seems to have unrest and uh, uh, social upheaval that is underway. And uh, some people think this is the time when there really will be social change, meaningful social change. Uh, I'm all for meaningful social change to improve uh, our lives. I'm not all for social change just to become a socialist or uh, for the anarchists to uh, uh, inflict the damage and harm and pain that they're currently inflicting. So it's hard no, to... yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's hard. You know, when you look at all the progress that was made starting in the uh, late 50s and into the 60s and into the 70s with important legislation for things like voting rights and, and other important social justice pr uh, progress, mm -hmm. they were brought about by nonviolent protests, demonstrations and organized efforts. Martin Luther King would never have stood for what we're seeing now. Absolutely right. I'm so glad you, I, I forget to always bring it up because I should always bring it up. How dare they take his name and use it when he would not be for any of the rioting, looting, and, uh, and things that are happening in so many of our cities that the institutional media downplays and says, well, these are mostly uh, very peaceful demonstrations. You, 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 how can they say oh, they're that? Peaceful until they're peaceful not. Yeah, they're peaceful till they're not, and there's plenty that are not. But to be that as it may, uh, there was something else that just came to my mind. Oh, I know what it is. The, the brouhaha that is occurring from them saying the president is saying he won't give up his office uh, immediately uh, when the election results are turned in, he wants to make sure that everything was on the up and up and all of that. Now, I want you to, because this is a teachable moment, and for my wildly liberal friends, uh, please try to hear me out on this. We're talking about the president who answered a question in a press conference 
from a guy who was wearing a face mask that said the world needs journalists. I'll agree, and I wish that guy would have been a journalist, but uh, the idea that the president has said something so outrageous and that they're now saying, for the first time ever in America, there won't be a peaceful handing off of the whatever, whatever. Excuse me. You heard from a former senator and former secretary of state in the form of Hillary Rodham Clinton say several weeks ago that the vice president, Joe Biden, under no conditions or circumstances should concede. So she said, if the vote comes out and he loses, he should not accept that. Do you remember this, Dick? Yes, am, I, uh -huh. am I hallucinating? No, that's exactly what she said. That's what she said. And yet there was no media uproar about how could she say that? This has never happened in the history of America. The, the, the handing off of power, blah, blah, blah. Not a word from the institutional media. Nothing. And now when the president basically said the same thing, even not as harshly as she said it, the world is upside down. I'm telling you, Dick, it's upside down. And I just hope and pray, however people vote or do whatever they do, that they are paying attention to the immense hypocrisy. And yes, it goes both ways, but somehow they, the, certainly with the help of the institutional media, there's a blind eye to the hypocrisy on the left. It's just astonishing to me. Anyway, 714, we have our WJR Business Beat with Jeff Sloan, founder and CEO of Startup Nation, spotlighting the entrepreneurial tech and startup community on WJR, and it is vast. And he is Jeff Sloan. Morning, Jeff. Good morning, Paul. It's Friday, and that means that most of us who are parents or grandparents can look forward to spending really enriching and rewarding time with our kids and grandkids, right? I mean, after all, isn't that what weekends are for? Well, that's the way it's supposed to play out on the weekend when we're not hard at work and our kids aren't in school. But the reality is that after 13 billion downloads in the first quarter alone of 2020, mobile games and apps have taken over. The most common interaction we get these days from our kids is, hey, dad, I need some V-Bucks to buy this cool new skin in Fortnite. Or, hey, dad, I forgot my password and my friends are all playing Minecraft and I need you to help me get into this game now. Those 13 billion downloads and installs in just one quarter, the largest ever in mobile gaming history. That's right. Mobile games are a huge winner in the COVID-19 era. Mobile game ad spending surged from about 700,000 per month in February to over 1.4 million in March and reached even higher levels in April at just under $2 million, almost three times what the spend was a couple of months earlier. And speaking of spending, consumer spending in mobile apps, well, in 2018, we spend around $55 billion, but in 2019, approaching $62 billion. And 2020, some expect, could even see a doubling of last year's consumer spending in mobile games. At least now, I know I'm not the only one whose bank account seems to have a hole in the bottom of it with cash draining out and flowing freely to upstart gaming companies like Epic Games, the company I curse each day who's responsible for bringing Fortnite to market and my kids disappearing ever since they logged in. Let's just say it like it is. In the case of mobile gaming, the COVID-19 crisis has been quite good to that industry sector. And we see no slowing down in sight of the kind of activity that we see going on in mobile gaming. In fact, look for significant growth well into the future. So look, if you haven't seen your kids in what seems like days because they've been on their mobile phones for 12 straight hours playing games, this is just another thing we can be thankful for in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. I'm Jeff Sloan, founder and CEO of StartupNation.com, and that's today's business beat, brought to you today by Dell Technologies on the great voice of the Great Lakes, WJR. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch. Stop by for details. Plus taxes and fees. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speed surge congestion. Video at 480p unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for details. 717 with uh, 54 degrees. We've got our WJR traffic and weather first and Dana Clark. 
Seeing slow traffic in Roseville because of construction, 696, a westbound between Gratiot and Grosbeck, two left lanes are closed until 3 p.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre screen quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbloomfield.com. No, no complaints here unless you want it to rain, if that's the case. Uh, maybe next week, maybe early next week. Nice, clear start today, and the dry pavement sticks around this afternoon. Gorgeous sunshine, close to 80. Tonight, 59. Suburbs, low to mid-50s. Kick it off the weekend tomorrow with a few clouds, low 80s. Sunday, cloud sun, low 80s. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ray Stajic on News Talk 760 WJR. Again, we're looking at 54 degrees and a spectacular weekend just beautiful you gotta love fall in michigan autumn why isn't the song autumn in michigan rather than autumn in new york it's about time we get one of those don't you think yes i do uh coming up in just a moment we continue with our tribute to fca and our wjr paul w smith show road show and by the way you can watch us uh, throughout this show we usually start monday through friday from uh, 5 30 to 6 15 on the social media channels, so you can watch us on FaceTime or YouTube uh, and always listen to us at 760 on the AM dial. But uh, on special broadcasts like this, we, we keep it all open for the entire broadcast. Nice to have you watching or listening in or doing both, however you're doing it. Over the years, our Michigan communities have been through many ups and downs. And this year, without question, is one of the most difficult we've faced together. But it brings comfort to know then when it comes to our health, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan continues to be here for it all. For 81 years, Blue Cross has been committed to helping everyone in Michigan achieve better health and to strengthening our communities. That's why they work with doctors in every county, providing insurance to people in every zip code, while also providing needed funds to care for the uninsured in free clinics across Michigan. And as we all look to the future, Blue Cross will be here, providing members on-demand access to the care they need through Blue Cross online visits, a 24-hour nurse line, and the Blue Cross mobile app. For generations, Blue Cross has stood behind their members' care and the communities we call home. Blue Cross is here for it all and always will be. In fact, you can learn more at hereforitall.com, hereforitall.com. 720 at 760 WJR. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle to the toughest pickup truck box available, a next-generation electric vehicle battery case or the complete body of a world-class performance car, Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance, and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities, powered by science, brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke? That it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field. We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. It's not in the genes, it's in your profile. It's time to take charge of your health. Call Dr. Brian Collender at 866-K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R. America has always taken pride in our ability to innovate and produce. Manufacturing is a pillar in America. That enables each of us to support our families and innovate. Manufacturing companies, large and small, are recommitting to that beautiful phrase, made in the USA. And they're committing to Eckhart. Eckhart is helping manufacturing companies reshore jobs to the USA. And they'd like to help you. To learn more about Eckhart, visit EckhartUSA.com. That's E-C-K-H-A-R-T-U-S-A.com. Eckhart, for the life of your line. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith, presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. You know, this is fun for me, too. I, I interview so many people when, since we've stopped going to the, the international and national auto shows. I, I find myself talking to so many of these great people on the phone and this morning. 
like you, if you come on board at uh, FaceTime or YouTube, I get to see my guest as I'm talking to him. And it's nice to catch up with the head of Ram Brand FCA North America, Mr. Mike Koval Jr. Hello, Michael. Hello, Paul W. Good morning. Good morning to you. It's great to uh, see you with uh, all the good news you have. We've been looking at some of the videos and FCA is just, uh, I know it sounds ridiculous, but firing on all, on all cylinders without question. No, it's it's a it's an exciting time not only for uh, for the Ram brand overall, but for FCA. I mean, the products that we are are bringing to market right now are are exciting, and I think they capture the hearts and minds and spirits of our customers and and fans alike for sure. Tell us about the all new 2021 Ram 1500 TRX, which is said to be the fastest and most powerful mass-produced truck in the world. That's correct. That's a big uh, deal. It, well, it is a big deal, and it was designed bolt by bolt to significantly outperform every other truck in the marketplace. But uh, it's really when you when you get behind the wheel of, of the truck, 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. It does the quarter mile in, in uh, 4.9 uh, seconds at 118 miles an hour. It's just... It's an exhilarating experience, but the best part about it is when you step into the to the vehicle itself, you're reminded how luxurious it is and how quiet and comfortable the cabin is as well. So you get everything that the Ram 1500 has become known for, but uh, with this additional capability as well. So it's a uh, it's a complete package. It's known as the most spacious interior in the entire segment. We have back seats that do front seat things. They're heated. They're cool. They recline. Uh, Paul, I have big friends from college who played football, and uh, they can't believe when they step into the backseat of the Ram 1500, it feels like a first-class uh, experience all the way around. It's uh, the, the designers and engineers did a fantastic job. Great uh, uh, heads-up display now, uh, and uh, and for me, my kind of thinking is well, it's the the new active and passive safety features. In fact, there's I, I think now more than a hundred active and passive safety features? Well, the Ram 1500 was the first light duty pickup truck to achieve the uh, top safety pick plus uh, designation, which is really important. And, and, and safety obviously is at the foremost of everything we do. So we want you to have fun and, and certainly uh, push the truck to uh, to its extreme. But uh, certainly uh, the topic of safety is, is always uh, paramount. Mike Koval, Jr., head of the Ram brand FCA North America. Uh, God bless the dealers, your dealers, your first uh, customers, your fabulous dealers who have stepped in once again, uh, whenever there's a need, they seem to do that. Dealers, I always say, are the best neighbors you can have. And uh, Ram Nation stepped up with the United Way to donate to uh, Midland County with the flood disaster relief efforts. In a, and that must be noted. It's it's a uh, it's certainly a difficult time, and and it's it's a personal uh, thing for for me, and I really believe the the efforts of Ram Nation. It it speaks to who we are as a brand, and, and being there for communities in their time of need, and not to be forgotten, we have uh, many members of the FCA team who live in those affected areas. So it was deeply personal for me, and and on behalf of the Ram brand, it, it felt like absolutely the right thing to do to be there for our brothers and sisters in their time of need, and and that's that's really. It speaks to who we are as a brand overall. It does speak to who you are as a brand overall. It's not the first time you guys have stepped up, and it won't be the last time. I hope that you don't have to, because of a, a disaster like that, to step up again anytime soon. But it's nice to know you're there, and it is personal. And again, uh, dealers are the best neighbors you can have in all of the work that they do, even in the best of times, they're sponsoring little league. They're planting flowers along the highway. I mean, these things go back years, the good things that dealers have done. And now uh, tell me if you can, Mike, about the, uh, the employee developed no and go mobile app that's debuting on the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. What's really special about this technology is is the fact that it was uh, uh, developed internally by uh, by our innovative employees. And uh, what's really special about the technology is that we, we put it on the fast track. Uh, this the concept came to us through our first ever FCA pitch night, was which is akin to a, a Shark Tank type of uh, program. And uh, we brought this technology to market in just a couple of months' time, which is which is lightning quick, and basically allows the users to use their their phone uh, to scan over the vehicle and learn more about the truck. So they simply point 
to a particular portion of the truck they'd like to learn more about. And it brings up the information right there in real time. So uh, really a new and innovative technology and just really proud of the FSA team for, uh, for bringing the technology to market so quickly. I know you and the team you represent, the hard workers there at FCA, are very proud of the work you do. One final word or one final comment about what you're most proud of right now, Mike? Well, just proud of the uh, the you know the overall momentum that we've established in the marketplace, not only on behalf of RAM, but on behalf of all of FCA, and just staying true to who we are in terms of our core values and beliefs. I think that'll take us uh, well into the future, Paul. Nice way to start the day, Michael. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Mike Koval, Jr., head of Ram Brands FCA North America, as we continue to feature FCA in our WJR Paul W. Smith Show Road Show right here on News Talk 760 and the social platforms as well at 728. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch. Stop by for details. Plus taxes and fees. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for details. Everybody loves a parade. There will be America's Thanksgiving Parade presented by Gardner White. We'll give you all the latest details and the latest announcement with Tony Michaels. The Wizard of Oz, uh, president and CEO of the parade company coming up. But let's check that traffic information on this Friday morning. Our WJR traffic and weather first in Dana Clark. Uh, still dealing with that closure this morning in Grand Blanc Township along 75 southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road closed there due to that crash. Seeing some brake lights in Roseville along 696 westbound between Gratiot and Grosbeck. Two lanes are closed for construction there until 3 p.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Gordon Chevrolet, where not only do you pick your payments, but now pick your program. Need to pull ahead your lease? Do you need GM employee pricing or low payment with zero interest? Like Gordon Chevrolet, help you find it on Ford Road, just west of Merriman and Garden City. GordonChevrolet.com. Gordon Chevrolet. Find new roads. No rain in the forecast this weekend. Make sure you get out and enjoy the sunshine, and it's going to be a warmer, too. Sunshine today, a high of 79. Clear skies tonight, low 60. Sunshine on Saturday and a high of 81. Fog, 57 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News, with Dick Hafner in one minute. Confidence. It's important to have when you're on the road. Be prepared for whatever cooler weather brings. With a new set of innovative Bridgestone or dependable Firestone tires on your car, truck, SUV, or minivan, you're riding on tires you can trust. Bridgestone and Firestone tires are engineered to give you peace of mind so you can focus on enjoying the journey. Bridgestone and Firestone are proud to support their global OE and aftermarket customers. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Buddy's Pizza is celebrating 74 years as the original Detroit-style pizza. Visit one of our 15 Metro Detroit locations, open for curbside carryout, dine-in, and delivery via DoorDash. Order your Buddy's Pizza online at buddiespizza.com or with our new mobile app. The state legislature has been busy passing a flurry of bills before the legislature adjourns. Bills have been passed to let thousands of convicted criminals clear their records after a period of time for certain low-level offenses. They include some felonies. The governor will sign this bill. She will also sign the bill to give local election clerks extra time to process absentee ballots. The state house passed a bill to allow bars to extend last call to 4 a.m. in Michigan. Governor Whitmer plans a meeting with department heads to help her with her pledge to make Michigan carbon neutral. Governor Whitmer has signed an executive order pledging to make Michigan carbon neutral by 2050, 30 years from now. The move comes one day after the Chinese communist government, the world's largest polluter, said it would go carbon neutral by 2060. The order requires the Department of Energy, Great Lakes and Environment to put together a strategy and report back by the end of next year. But it's not clear what she can do because no one can force a business not to emit carbon. According to the Michigan Constitution, an executive order is not law and can be overruled by the next governor. Ken Rogulski, WJR News. The Senate Republican leader McConnell says the Republican efforts to confirm a new justice to the Supreme Court as quickly as they can before the election follows historical precedent. There have been 15 occasions where a president has nominated 
during an election year, someone to the Supreme Court. In eight of those 15 occasions, the president's party was the party of the Senate. And seven out of eight times, they were confirmed. Demonstrators take to the streets again over no charges in the killing of Breonna Taylor in Louisville. Some of the demonstrators were arrested. Chemical agents were deployed. Demonstrators sought shelter at a Unitarian church where they said they would open as a sanctuary. Later in the evening, an officer and a protester shook hands on a deal to let those demonstrators come out of the church property without being arrested. President Trump weighs in on the death of Breonna Taylor. Here's Fox's news correspondent, Kevin Cork. President Trump offered his regards to the family of Breonna Taylor after a grand jury in Kentucky declined to file homicide charges in her death. So many people suffering, so many people needlessly suffering, but with respect to Breonna, we give our regards to the family. The president declined to address specifics about the case, preferring instead to offer support for both Taylor and, more broadly, law enforcement. A Kansas man has been charged with persuading an eight-year-old girl in Bloomfield Township to go online and send him photos of her in various stages of undress. The man, 48-year-old Clinton McElroy of Kansas, is charged with various violations to get the young girl to send him the videos of her in exchange for online currency used in games that she was playing. This man is in jail in Kansas on a $1 million bond. On Wall Street, the Dow futures are down slightly. I'm Dick Hafner, WJR News. More coming up with Paul W. Are you ready for what's next? It's likely coming. More food shortages, power outages, grocery stores closed, social unrest. Ask yourself. Do you have enough food and supplies on hand to last at least 30 days? Most Americans do not, but you can. Avoid the panic of the last-minute rush. Order your four-week supply of emergency food today from MyPatriotSupply.com. Starvation or dependency on the government are your only alternatives. Avoid those and the pain of being unprepared. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com right now. Build your emergency food supply with meals that last up to 25 years in storage, shipped discreetly to your door. Folks that know what's coming are using today to prepare. There's time for you to do the same. That's MyPatriotSupply.com, the original Patriot Preparedness Company. MyPatriotSupply.com. Lear, a global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems, headquartered in Southfield, Michigan, has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. It's a position they've earned by engineering and manufacturing superior vehicle technology with constant reliability and excellence. But what really sets Lear apart is their track record of responsibility, honoring commitments to the team, and the unwavering support of the communities where they do business. A diverse global culture that understands that they can achieve more together. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision, one that is connected, electrified, and sustainable, and one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. Exalta's Color of the Year has been highly anticipated and graciously received. This year, Exalta dove into its trend research and color technology to make a splash. Exalta Global Color Product Manager Nancy Lockhart, tell us what it is. Exalta's 2020 Automotive Color of the Year is Sea Glass, a striking turquoise blue that captivates with sparkling effects and intense chroma. Inspired by a sense of sustainability in nature, Sea Glass infuses a tranquil yet confident style. Sea glass evokes the calming, powerful elements found in oceanic depths while staying on trend with the recent rise of blue vehicles. Sea glass was formulated with built in paint technologies that allow vehicle to vehicle detection to facilitate the advancement of autonomous mobility. Designed to be seen, Sea glass brings striking rich color and detectability to the roadways. For more, visit exalta.com slash color. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith, presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. 
And, of course, we're covering all the other news that's out there and important news uh, in terms of our enjoyment and uh, in terms of keeping a tradition alive, in this case, a nearly 100-year tradition, as the Parade Company has announced America's Thanksgiving Parade, presented by Gardner White, is set to go as a live, televised-only production in the heart of downtown Detroit. Of course, uh, the producers, the Parade Company, developing a creative and thoughtful approach to continue this 94-year tradition during these unprecedented times. And what a what a pleasure it is to welcome in the president and CEO of the Parade Company. I call him the original Wizard of Oz, as in, oh, ah, that sort of thing. Tony Michaels is here, Tony. Thanks for saving the parade. Thanks for saving the parade. Well, I'll tell you what, we are just elated, and um, I, I, I'm just surrounded by the greatest people, you know, Dan Lepp and everyone on our board, and, and you know, the challenge was out there to do this right, um, and to be responsible, to be safe, and we worked with Mayor Duggan and the Detroit Police Department, and we've got a plan to, to make sure that everybody's Thanksgiving from morning till night is what they love and what they cherish every year. So we're just elated uh, to be able to do this, Paul, and to make it happen. Hey, look, uh, everybody's everything is not the way it was. And that certainly is going to go for Thanksgiving as people are asking, can I still host Thanksgiving dinner with my family? There are all kinds of questions out there. But it's nice to know that America's Thanksgiving parade presented by Gardner White will indeed go on and in the safest of ways, safe for the participants and safe for those of us who always have enjoyed watching the parade, whether it's by the street, along the street, or, or on television, or even listening to parts of it on the radio, as we'll continue to do leading into uh, uh, Lions football, I presume, as always. And, um, it, and it wasn't easy putting all that together. Now, you, the, it's not just the parade, of course, the 38th annual uh, Strategic Staffing Solutions Turkey Trot is going to still take place, but again, virtually. Yeah, absolutely, Paul. And I, I, I've got to point out that none of this is really going to happen without our partners at WDIV and uh, and Marla Drutz, you know, who runs that amazing group over there. And how we're going to do this in the heart of downtown, um, bringing the floats, everything that you're used to is going to come right into that television zone. And you're going to get a great feel. And we're urging people, let's do this the Detroit way. Let's show America that we can do this right. Stay home, watch it on television. And with the S3 Turkey Trot, it's going to be virtual. Our goal is to make this the largest virtual run in the state of Michigan, if not the country. So you're going to see a whole lot about it. People can go to the parade.org and hit the link. You get your shirt, you get your medal. I mean, we are trying our best to make this the most normal Thanksgiving that people can have during this, during this tough time right now. And, uh, it's just a great team at the Parade Company and great partners like you. You'll be on the air that morning doing great interviews uh, prior to the parade itself. And I just, we feel so good and a lot of work to go, but um, can't do it without the mayor and Chief Craig. And I, what a great city we have. We really do. We really do have a great city. And, uh, and, and for a lot of reasons, you mentioned the mayor. I'll also add in there our fine uh, police chief and uh, and the hardworking men and women of the uh, Detroit Police Department. I don't want to even go into great detail, but we know uh, how lucky we are to have uh, Chief James Craig and uh, and his uh, his team, if you will. Now, Hobnobble Gobble, uh, presented uh, by Ford Motor Company, that's a little bit of a different story. I, I wondered how in the world you could pull that off as scheduled, and and as it turns out, you can't. No, we really can't, Paul. It's 2,300 people on the floor at Ford Field with all the rides. And look, we're doing everything right. Dan Lepp and I talk about all the time, you know, we do things great at the Prey Company, and that would not be great. That's, that could not happen. It violates the rules, regulations. And But I can tell you, November 19th of 2021, I think we're going to put on a pretty good show at Hobnobble Gobble presented by Ford when it comes back. Well, I'm hoping so. I mean, we really don't know for sure, uh, but we do know that uh, we all are making the best of this not good situation that we're living with. And I appreciate what you had to go through and the unsung heroes in the background, like Marla Drutz and the city council and the mayor and the police chief. And of course, Dan Lepp, 
uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. It's a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure at least this America's Thanksgiving Parade presented by Gardner White is set to go. Uh, the difference is you won't be driving downtown. You'll be watching it on television, hearing parts of it right here on News Talk 760 WJR Radio. And Tony, I know how much work blood, sweat, and tears, and love you put into this. And I salute you for that as the original Wizard of Oz. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Paul. We have a great team. Thank you. We continue on WJR at 743. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch. Stop by for details. Plus taxes and fees. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for details. 743, our WJR traffic and weather first. Miss Dana Clark with 54 degrees right now, Dana. Seeing those uh, delays, though, because of construction, Paul W., but uh, as far as accidents are concerned, still dealing with a closure in Grand Blanc. So let's start in Roseville, 696 westbound between Gratiot and Grosbeck. Two lanes are shut down for construction until 3 p.m. on Monday. So seeing some delays through that stretch. And Grand Blanc Township, 75 southbound, still closed between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road. Shut down there due to a multi-vehicle crash. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel. We've got sunshine in the forecast here. Warm temperatures continuing almost 10 degrees above average into the upcoming weekend. Clear sky this morning, sunshine this afternoon, 80. Overnight tonight, mainly clear, 59. Tomorrow, some clouds, low 80s. Sunday, clouds and sunshine with highs in the low 80s. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ray Stage, Gal News Talk 760 WJR. America has always taken pride in our ability to innovate and produce. Manufacturing is a pillar in America. That enables each of us to support our families and innovate. Manufacturing companies, large and small, are recommitting to that beautiful phrase, made in the USA. And they're committing to Eckhart. Eckhart is helping manufacturing companies reshore jobs in the USA. And they'd like to help you. To learn more about Eckhart, visit EckhartUSA.com. That's E-C-K-H-A-R-T-U-S-A.com. Eckhart, for the life of your line. Have you been told you need spine surgery or just sick of living in pain? The Disc Institute has a proven painless alternative. If your neck, back, or sciatic pain is due to a herniated, degenerate, or bulging disc, then you actually have two problems. One, your pain, and two, your bad disc. Drugs, therapies, epidurals, and new pain lasers are designed to only treat your pain, but they're not designed to treat your disc problem. And this is crucial because your bad disc is what's causing your pain in the first place. Without addressing your disc problem, your problem will get worse, which can ultimately lead to surgery. At the Disc Institute, we have a proven solution to solve both of your problems, your pain and the bad disc that's causing it with our high-tech, non-invasive treatments. This is what can stop your pain without surgery. We'll even review your MRI for no charge. Call our new Grand Blank location at 810-881-DISC, 810-881-3472. Donald Trump says we're not safe in Biden's America, but we're living in Trump's America now. And 200,000 Americans have died from the virus that he lied about. The simple truth is Donald Trump failed to protect America. So now he's trying to scare America. Mr. Trump, you want to talk about fear? Do you know if people are afraid they're going to get COVID? They're afraid they're going to get sick and die. And that is in no small part because of you. Joe Biden will protect the American people, putting our safety above all else. I want a safe America, safe from COVID, safe from crime and looting, safe from racially motivated violence. And I promise you this, we will do better. There's not a single thing beyond our capacity when we decide to do it together. I'm Joe Biden. Can, Can you hear me okay, Paul? And I approve this message. Paid for by Biden for president. Is it possible to outperform the market? Is that the index? Is the, uh, is the mic working okay? You'll learn this weekend on America's Wealth Management sure. Show with Dean Barber and Ken Osawala, Saturday at noon on WJR. The virtual Detroit Jazz Festival presented by Rocket Mortgage didn't miss a beat. Love a the light. free jazz in festival in the face, world presented more than 40 hours of live jazz programming. No, no, it, 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 around the globe. The right light behind you Detroit Jazz the windows, legacy artists and up and covers uh, took a part in the 41st annual the Labor Day weekend tradition. All virtually online, TV and 
Christian Radio and all for free. The festival would like to thank all who clicked on, staff, Mayor Mike Duggan, and of course, the amazing sponsors that make the Detroit Jazz Festival presented by Rocket Mortgage possible. Gretchen Vallee, chair of the Detroit Jazz Festival Foundation Board of Directors, would especially like to thank presenting sponsor Rocket Mortgage, J.P. Morgan Chase, the DTE Foundation, Carhartt, Mac Avenue Music Group, the Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe, Abso Pure, and Comcast Business. To keep up to date with year-round Detroit Jazz Festival Foundation concerts, educational initiatives, live streams, and more, visit DetroitJazzFest.org. DetroitJazzFest.org. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. Well, and speaking of Eckhart at 748, with over 60 years of experience headquartered in Warren, Eckhart engineers advanced industrial solutions enhance the quality of life. Eckhart's proven portfolio of Industry 4.0 technology includes autonomous guided vehicles, uh, collaborative and traditional robotic systems, automated assembly line design, simulation 3D printing. In fact, it was 3D printing that the president and CEO of Eckhart, Andy Storm, shared with us when we did a Paul W. Smith show from the Warren facility a few years ago. And he took us on a tour and showed us his manufacturing operation and the 3D printing. And that's stuck in our mind, Andy. And thank you again for that uh, wonderful tour. Andy Storm, president and CEO of Eckhart. Well, thank you very much, Paul W. And I have to say uh, what stuck in my mind uh, yesterday morning, I was cruising down I-75 through Toledo and Dayton, Ohio and Cincinnati and uh, got a, a front row seat to uh, Opus X Cigars and Ann's uh, place on the <laughs> lake up there. I, you know, I, I love the Petoskey Charlevoix area and one of my favorite buffets is at Stafford's Bayview Inn in Petoskey. And uh, with all the COVID craziness that we're dealing with uh, over the Labor Day weekend, I went to uh, Stafford's to have my uh, annual, you know, morning breakfast. And unfortunately, wasn't able to have a, the buffet, but enjoyed an incredible breakfast up there. So I enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the show yesterday morning. Thanks for the entertainment on my morning drive. Well, thank you for paying attention and for saying so after all of that. Andy, you know, we're all in this together. It's not easy uh, but we're all figuring out on how to do it. And one of the most important things we can do is what you just said, supporting these local businesses to the best of our ability, one way or another, whether it's getting takeout from a restaurant or any number of other things, but supporting our local businesses to help them stay in business. Small businesses are the heartbeat of our country, Paul W. And I think one of the unfortunate things, irregardless of where you fall on the political spectrum um, you look at the statistics and you look at the data, and I think a lot of the, the COVID craziness has truly been overblown. I'm not one of the individuals that discounts COVID and says it's not real, it's not serious. It is. But the uh, the constant drumbeat that we see from the institutional media that we're all going to die if we go outside of our homes and support businesses, go to a high school football game, I think is crazy. You know, just some simple stats right off of the Michigan COVID website. There's 24,849 hospital beds in the state of Michigan. As of this morning, there's 514 people in our state of 10 million people who are either suspect or confirmed to be COVID positive that are in a hospital. People talk about PPE shortages, N95 masks. Right now in Michigan, there's 1.9 million N95 masks in our state. We've got 514 people in a hospital. I... I, I it just to me, it's it's really unfortunate how the, the narrative really does scare people. And I obviously heard the ad just before coming on the air with you. You look at hospitals, right? MSU, all the positive cases in Lansing. I heard the president on your show last week or the week prior. There's three patients right now in my hometown up in the Upper Peninsula, Aspirus Hospital, three patients that are hospitalized for COVID in my hometown. Lansing, Michigan, right? Sparrow Hospital, 16 patients. Our own DMC here in Detroit, 18 patients. I think what we need to do is we need to celebrate and recognize the automotive OEMs like FCA and Ford and General Motors who've worked really, really hard behind the scenes with stakeholders in our community and in the business community, the supply chains, to really, truly get the manufacturing machine back and ro back rolling. And we need people to be able to go and work. We need to support the economic engine, not only of Southeast Michigan, but of the United States. 
And it begins with leadership. It doesn't begin with scaring and terrifying people that if they go to work or if they go to a restaurant or if they go watch their child play a high school sport, they're going to die. It's just not true. I'll tell you what we need, Andy. We need Andy Storm, president and CEO of Eckhart, to come on every morning and give us a pep talk like that or give you your own show. <laughs> well done, my friend. Well hey, done. I, you know, talking to all, the, all of my peers in the uh, business community here in Southeast Michigan, Paul, I think there's a lot of people who want to speak up, but they're terrified of saying anything because of the current political environment. Right. And, I, you know, I grew up in a small town. It's referred to as the copper country. At one point, had over 130,000 people. And today you go up there and there's 2,000 people, homes are in disarray, lawns aren't mowed, all the jobs have gone. If we don't have jobs and if we can't employ people, all of us lose our livelihoods from the service industry to the industrial sector. We all need to find a way to change the narrative and remind people the statistics and the data do suggest we are not going to die if we leave our home, we are not gonna die if we go to a restaurant. And the healthcare system right now is begging for patients. Our hospitals are empty and laying people off. You're right. People have stayed away from hospitals. They haven't done uh, many of the things they should do. And we direct people to go to the doctor, go to the dentist, go to the hospital, go for these tests, do all the things that you have put off. Uh, it's important that you do for your own health, but it's important for the health of these institutions that have acted and reacted beautifully through this COVID-19 pandemic and will continue to do so. And I, I salute you, Andy Storm, too, for pointing out the the automotive OEMs, the supply chains, all of that. So much was uh, talked about, about when they would shut down, how they would shut down, all of that. So little has been talked about now, uh, giving them the kudos they deserve for, for operating now, turning things around and ramping up production safely. That We don't even hear about it. So kudos and accolades, I think one of the, the big positive news stories, and I, I really appreciate what you do, Paul, each day to wake up and share the positive with us, Relentless Positive Radio, is FDA's investment in the Motor City. I think it's just absolutely incredible what they have done to commit to the city of Detroit. Um, for anyone that works in the industry, whether it's the construction industry, the automotive industry, drive down to Detroit, look at that Greenfield site. And look at the jobs that are being created in the from the guy pouring the concrete to the the, the the steel erectors to the millwrights to all of the people who are involved in making that factory come to fruition. And if you want to look at something outside of automotive, drive to M59 and Opdyke Road and look at what Amazon.com is doing to build their multi-level fulfillment center. It's incredible the jobs and the livelihoods that those businesses are supporting. And I give FCA an enormous amount of credit for being the first major OEM to announce and commit to building a new factory in downtown Detroit. Say that again, Andy. I, <laughs> I, I give them an enormous amount of credit for standing up a brand new Greenfield factory. In I got gotcha. you. And supporting I, 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 all of the jobs that will, will come from it, even outside of the factory. Rest I, 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 I thought I thought you were making an unprecedented <laughs> announcement on the show. No about a, a new Eckert. A new you're, you're, a train worker. you're doing a fine job. <laughs> well, you know, there's been so much talk uh, over the years of NAFTA and uh, foreign investment, all of that. We really should talk more about what's really happening right now, the reshoring of jobs, the bringing jobs back to America. And I know you feel strongly about that, Andy. Absolutely. Again, if you if you talk to anyone that's in the manufacturing sector right now, there's just an enormous amount of activity with major OEMs that are looking to reshore and bring capacity back to the U.S. It's not only occurring in healthcare; it's also occurring in automotive. It's occurring, occurring in construction. And I think what people are realizing is that NAFTA, Ross Perot, bless his heart, the giant sucking sound, we really truly did suck the life out of the small communities and the major cities. I encourage my staff Drive down I-75. When you get across 8 Mile Road on I-75, pick an exit, drive two blocks off I-75 in either direction, and start driving down the city blocks and look around you. We need jobs. We need manufacturing jobs brought back to the United States. We need Nike factories and Apple factories in downtown Detroit. We ought to commit as a collective whole to revitalize and bring jobs back to the United States. And I think None of my peers who work on the indirect side, tooling, or on the direct side, direct material, 
are saying, we want someone to hand us a purchase order. We all want to compete. We're willing to compete. But what we don't want is we don't want manufacturing businesses in Southeast Michigan competing against each other only to see the work get outsourced to another country and brought back on a ship and installed at a factory in one of our major cities. Let's commit to revitalizing our cities and giving people meaningful jobs that can support their families and their livelihoods. And I commend FCA for, for leading that charge. You are a ball of fire, my friend. You are relentless, positive radio. And I appreciate knowing that you're out there listening every day as well, Andy. Final word, the, uh, give a little plug for Eckhart and what you do and how proudly you do it. Well, I'll tell you, we're, we're, uh, I grew up in a family of uh, nine children in the Upper Peninsula, Paul, and all the folks I work with day to day here, we're scrapping it out, trying to, trying to make a living and do what we can to support all the major OEMs that are committed to American manufacturing and trying to make their life easier. So we all appreciate what you do. Paul, to uh, stay relentlessly positive, and we appreciate you being a voice for all of the folks that are in your listening area trying to help grow American manufacturing. Thank you, and enjoy go the cigars this weekend. All right, and go to EckhartUSA.com to learn more about Andy's company, E-C-K-H-A-R-T, EckhartUSA.com. God bless you, President and CEO of Eckhart. Andy Storm, what a pleasure catching up with you again. Thank you, sir, so much. Thank you, Paul. I look forward to the announcement of the new Andy Storm Show on WJR. <laughs> You're a ball of fire, my friend. Thanks so much. 759 at 760 WJR. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch. Stop by for details. Plus taxes and fees. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for details. WJR Traffic and Weather first at 759. Miss Dana Clark. Two lanes uh, closed for construction in Roseville this morning, 696 westbound between Gratiot and Grosbeck. Those uh, left two lanes will be closed until 3 p.m. on Monday, seeing some brake lights uh, through that ride. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Guernsey Farms Dairy. Guernsey's newly remodeled restaurant is now open for carryout, and their dining room is Open for dinner only Friday through Sunday, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Enjoy great food, drinks, and laughs, and visit their ice cream parlor and store for Guernsey's award-winning ice cream, milk, and lemonade. For more info, visit GuernseyFarmsDairy.com. Fog, 56 degrees, sunshine later this morning, a high of 79, no rain this weekend. Tonight, clear skies, low 60. For Saturday, mostly sunny skies, a high of 81. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Dick Hapner is coming up. Time to get your fix of Lions news. Here's Lions Daily with WJR's Steve Courtney. Well, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Your Detroit Lions right now in the midst of an ugly patch. Head coach Matt Patricia says this team needs to stay in the moment. You know, certainly there's things here that we got to do better. We got to coach better and play better. And um, certainly mistakes that we make in the game that we can't let uh, steamroll into other mistakes and cause bigger problems. And, and really, you know, uh, through the course of the game, especially when you play a great team like Green Bay, um, you know, when those situations come up, uh, we just have to stay consistent. You know, we can't ride the wave of the game and, and we got to just keep uh, keep working, do our job and, and go out and play the next play. And uh, that's something we got to get better at. Kyler Murray and the 2-0 Arizona Cardinals waiting for the Lions. 425 Sunday. We're with you at 130 here on Lions Radio. That's Lions Daily on Lions Radio, 760 WJR. What do you get when you talk to a Dell Technologies advisor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get someone who understands there's an art to listening. Mm -hmm. sure. Who's able to hear more than what's being said and can provide tailored mm -hmm. small business solutions that make you feel okay. truly heard. I understand, let's get started. For advice on everything from laptops to the cloud and solutions powered by Intel V Pro platform, call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. Attention SSI and other federal benefit recipients. If you did not file a tax return last year and have children under 17, you must act now to get the $500 economic impact payment per child this year. You must provide the IRS your child's information by September 30th. Go to irs.gov and use the non-filer tool by September 30th. That's irs.gov. 
This message produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. WJR Detroit and WDVD HD2 Detroit, the great voice of the Great Lakes, 760 WJR, where Detroit comes to talk. There's been another apparent terrorist-style attack in Paris. Four people were wounded in a knifing attack near the former offices of the French magazine Charlie Hebdo, which was the site of a 2015 terrorist attack. Two of those wounded are in critical condition. The suspects are still on the run. More protests and arrest over Breonna Taylor. Louisville police arrested more protesters in some cities. Drivers came in contact with demonstrators with their vehicles. Some counter-protesters were seen doing open carry there to protect property. The Senate Republicans working quickly to fill the Supreme Court seat. Democrats vowed to try to stop it. The president spoke about filling the seat in Jacksonville, Florida. You know, uh, they don't want us to do it. The Democrats say, you shouldn't do it. Why? We have a lot of time. Let me ask you the one simple question. If it was them instead of us, do you think they'd do it? I think so. Now, this will be a very talented person. It will be a woman. I'm sorry, man. It will be a woman. The latest Fox News poll shows Biden leading Trump in several key swing states. The state legislature has passed a flurry of bills. Bills have been passed to let thousands of convicted criminals clear their records after a period of time for certain offenses, lower level offenses, but some of them are felonies. Local election clerks will get extra time to process absentee ballots. They'll be allowed to start handling the ballots the day before the election. Right now, they can't start work until Election Day. The governor will sign these bills. The state house also passed a bill to allow bars in Michigan to extend last call to 4 a.m. The presidents of Michigan's three largest universities say it'll be yet another year before all of their students return to classrooms full time. Kim Jong-un has apologized for the death of a South Korean government worker who was shot to death by the North Korean troops after that worker crossed a maritime border between the two countries. The Pac-12 has joined the other big conferences for a kickoff later this fall. Pac-12 CEOs Thursday voting to approve a November 6th start date for their football season, playing a seven-game in-conference slate capped off by a championship game on December 18th. The Pac-12 had last month voted to delay all athletics for the rest of the year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but now follows the about face of the Big Ten to make a football season happen. Can you hear the station? Because it just clipped off in the middle of that news piece. Can you hear me, Ann? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I, I okay. took the station out so oh, okay. that I could say hi to you. Are you doing okay? okay? Yeah. Uh, good, good. Yeah. Got a, a nice... Uh, a nice note. I saw your note, uh, and I see. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, Senator Senator Mike uh, Shirky Shirky said uh, Andy Storm is on my business board. He's inspiring, just like you experienced this morning. All the time, endless energy. Have a great weekend. He was yeah, very interesting, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good. He was positive. He was upbeat. I loved him. He should have his own show. He um, has an interesting perspective on this. It almost, you know, when you listen, it makes you feel a little better. It's like, oh, okay, I think everybody, it's nice to listen to everybody's perspective on this. You know what I mean? Because it's mm-hmm. probably somewhere in the middle. Mm-hmm. And instead of getting all panicky all the time, he was very, very good. He did a nice job. Yep. Yep. He's a big fan of you and the Paul W. Smith show. So that's wonderful. God bless him for that. And we thank him for his support. He's sponsored. Yeah, he's clearly a listener. I mean, he was quoting stuff all the time. I mean, it's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, very cool. Are you doing okay? Do you need anything? Nope, I'm good. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I uh, It is more much more difficult to be on camera all the time, but I did find a way to plug my thing in without the wire going ar- around me. I'm not very good at those things, but I figured it out so that I have no power issues 100%. And that, that takes a load off my mind when I'm sitting here doing this and worrying about it. Yeah, I got some nice people. Amen. Just listen to Andy Storm. So refreshing. Go, Andy. Well, it's just, you know, it's a good reminder not to get all panicky about everything. Yeah. I wonder if he, what he, we, I guess you wouldn't get into it on that interview, but 
I wonder what he thinks about the masks. If he thinks. Oh, he thinks they're smart. They're okay. Yeah, I, I, that's what I thought he said. I thought he said something about the masks. I was going to go into that woman who got tased for not, you know, wearing a mask, but she wasn't tased well, for not wearing a mask. The journey. Bridgestone and Firestone are proud to support their global Hang OE on. and aftermarket ah. customers. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. This is the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. No official auto show taking place this year. We're bringing the show to you. Today's stop highlights FCA. The WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith is presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. Here's Paul. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, if you just uh, heard from uh, our friend Andy Storm, president and CEO of Eckhart, I'm looking at the media and uh, social media reactions he could run for any office right now and win in a landslide at least with my listeners who are the best most important brightest listeners in all of radio and i do appreciate that and i'm honored to have you with me monday through friday from 5 30 till 9 on news talk 760 wjr or uh, on special occasions like this one, other than the, the 535 to 615 when we're each morning on social media, on special days like this tribute day to FCA and our WJR Roadshow, we're on uh, Facebook, FaceTime, uh, YouTube, FaceTime, YouTube, and uh, anywhere else you can pick us up on video and on audio. On this uh, Friday morning, September 25th, the 269th day of 2020, there are 97 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. Well, Dick, you need somebody to sometimes step up and uh, and tell it the way he sees it to give his perspective. And I found Andy Storm's perspective to be right on and refreshing. Yeah, he tells it like it is. Yeah, he does. Not afraid. Nope, not afraid. And he's a regular listener. We appreciate that. He's quoting things that we've talked about over the, the this past week. And uh, we appreciate the fact that he is paying attention and supporting us in this way and being a, a sponsor of this broadcast, which we certainly appreciate it. We can't do it without our fine sponsors. Meanwhile, there is a, a video you're going to see about a thousand times uh, today. Um, it's just the way it is once they have video. And it's of a woman and, and they're they're playing it up that she was tased at a high school football game for not wearing a mask. It's actually not necessarily true. She was tased for resisting the request to leave if she wasn't wearing a mask. Right. They, they have a hardened rule, and that's the way it is these days, a zero tolerance, a hardened rule that everybody in the high school and in high school activities had to wear a mask. She was approached by people from the school and from uh, a, a, an officer. Not a, I don't think it was a sworn police officer, but a uh, somebody who was hired by the school to enforce this sort of thing and asked to put a mask on. And she defiantly said no. Then they said, well, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. And she would not leave. And so there was a struggle, a pretty stupid and bad struggle that she uh, chose to participate in. I thought it was very telling that the people around her, which were presumably parents who've been with at games with her before, did nothing to stand up for her. Did not. That's a little. Uh, that's a signal of something. Didn't try to say, "Hey, what are you doing to her? Leave her alone." Uh, they probably figured she shouldn't be uh, complaining and uh, refusing to leave, or just put the mask on and shut up. Uh, be that <laughs> as it may. So there was a struggle, and they tased her and then led her out. So don't believe the headline, woman tased for not wearing a mask at a football game. It is far, like so many of these stories, far deeper than that. Of course. Meanwhile, uh, we have the Lions coming up at 1.30 this Sunday. Our WJR Lions countdown to kickoff starts at, at 1.30. As they head back to the area where they were winning. Wait a minute, this could be anywhere where they're winning and then they don't. At least they tied and didn't lose last year, but they're facing a far more experienced 
and much better quarterback than they faced last year. We wish them well. 55 degrees. What else is, uh, I know it's a big world and there's lots of news. What else is uh, at the top of your list news-wise that we should all pay extra special attention to, Mr. Havener? Well, I I led, us, led the last newscast with that stabbing attack in Paris. Oh, yeah. And the people who did the stabbing outside of the Charlie Hebdo magazine uh, headquarters. Former headquarters. At large, former headquarters. Right, they're, they're they're these not, guys don't even know that anymore. they're not there anymore. No. Not that anyone but, would say that a knife but there is are trials. Terrible. Yeah, there are trials coming up in Paris of people who were accomplices in the attack at that magazine building several years ago. And so uh, they're just getting to the that's trials. The top, yeah, that's the top uh, thing going on in Paris right now. And so tensions are high and it looks like it was another, as I called it, a terrorist yeah. style attack. But the authorities have not confirmed that yet. I don't, I'm, I guess I could figure out why, but I, I, it, it always bothers me when people are hesitant to call something what it is. Uh, and this has really been the case over the last couple of years, really hesitant to call something a terrorist attack. They really, yeah, well, I'm, I'm not afraid to do it and neither is Mr. Storm. No, <laughs> no. I can see it. I'm telling you the Andy Storm show. I just hope it's not you know, 5.30 to 9, Monday through Friday, because I need this job. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thank you, Dick. Eight uh, 8.14 at WJR. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch. Stop by for details. Plus taxes and fees. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for details. 814, our WJR traffic and weather first with Miss Dana Clark. It's still a pretty good looking drive out there, Paul. W just uh, seeing a couple of spots moving slow. 75 northbound stop and go between 696 and 12 mile. And also a slow ride because of the construction in Roseville. 696 westbound stop and go between Gratiot and Grosbeck. Your left two lanes are closed until 3 p.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Pike Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Attention new car buyers, Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is offering huge savings on their inventory of new Ram pickups during the Ram Power Days event. Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hall Road in Clinton Township. Show up, sign up, and ride. Well, it's been tough to beat this run of weather. I've seen very little rainfall, and I think that trend's going to be continuing, and the warm weather will continue. 10 degrees above average. About that, we'll park at near 80 once again today after a nice, comfortable start. Plenty of blue sky to finish. 79. Tonight, 59. Suburbs a little cooler. Weekend, cloud sunshine with highs in the low 80s. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ray Stagecom, News Talk 760 WJR. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle, to the toughest pickup truck box available. A next generation electric vehicle battery case or the complete body of a world-class performance car. Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities powered by science brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. At Henry Ford Health System, we've always been all for you. But what does that mean as we begin offering more services and lead our community through a pandemic? It means we're all for revitalizing Michigan through the health of its people, all for preventing illness as aggressively as we treat it. And especially now, it means being all for cleaning up, wiping off, scrubbing down, and repeating because we're all for getting back to the innovative care we're known for and all for heart attacks stopped, cancer eradicated, and new life delivered. In uncertain times, know this, Henry Ford Health System is all for your family, our community, and the health of this great state because we're all for opening our doors, hearts, and minds for you. Henry Ford Health System, all for you. See everything we're doing to maintain a safe, clean environment at henryford.com slash all for safety. What do you get when you talk to a Dell Technologies advisor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get someone who understands there's an art to listening. Mm -hmm. sure. Who's able to hear more than what's being said and can provide tailored mm -hmm. small business solutions that make you feel okay. truly heard. I understand. Let's get started. 
for advice on everything from laptops to the cloud and solutions powered by Intel vPro platform. Call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. Attention SSI and other federal benefit recipients. If you did not file a tax return last year and have children under 17, you must act now to get the $500 economic impact payment per child this year. You must provide the IRS your child's information by September 30th. Go to irs.gov and use the non-filer tool by September 30th. That's irs.gov. This message produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Exalta's Color of the Year has been highly anticipated and graciously received. This year, Exalta dove into its trend research and color technology to make a splash. Exalta Global Color Product Manager Nancy Lockhart Tell us what it is. Exalta's 2020 Automotive Color of the Year is Sea Glass, a striking turquoise blue that captures sparkling effects and intense chroma. Inspired by a sense of sustainability in nature, Sea Glass infuses a tranquil yet confident style. Sea Glass evokes the calming, powerful elements hey, spread in ocean depths while staying on trend with the recent rise of blue vehicles. Sea Glass was formulated with built in paint technologies that allow vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle detection to facilitate the advancement of autonomous mobility. Designed to be seen, Sea Glass brings striking rich color and detectability to the roadway. For more, visit exalta.com slash color. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. So appreciate our sponsors that make it possible for us to do our WJR Roadshow each Friday for last week and the next few weeks. We appreciate it. Featuring, as you just heard Mr. Announcer say, uh, featuring FCA today. And doing the other things we do on a Friday uh, if you were watching on our WJR FaceTime page or YouTube or however you want to do it, or, or of course, listening here at News Talk 760 WJR, it's time for Greg Russell and Dana Clark with Movie, 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 Show, 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 Plus, 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 Friday and hey. Movie Show Plus. <laughs> Well, here we go, Greg and Dana. Time to oh. take our minds off the, all of the news of the day. Uh, stop pointing at each other. Uh, <laughs> you, those of you listening cool. on 760 on the AM dial don't know what I'm talking about, but they're pointing at each other. But when you're on camera, everything's not as it seems. So, I know, you're, you're for example, cool. if I were to look at Greg, uh, I look uh, the way it would look on the screen, and it makes it look like I'm looking away from Greg. So, like a fine weatherman who has to fake it because there's really nothing on the screen in yeah. front of him as he points to yeah. stuff, uh, that's what we're doing uh, here with uh, radio. Meanwhile, um, I, I don't know anything about this, but it is apparently, as Greg says, a cheeky look at Sherlock Holmes' sister, yeah. Greg, Enola Holmes. That's right. It's, of course, on Netflix, uh, and it's all about uh, Sherlock's sister. Uh, she's younger than Sherlock and his brother, who has this weird name. And what it's all about is... Wait a minute. Uh, Enola is the weird name? Or right. That's, <laughs> right. Uh, that's there's the not a weirder... Name. Is there a weirder name than Enola in yeah, this? The, yeah, the brother, uh, the other brother. Uh, but yeah, Enola, her name is actually alone spelled backwards. Her mother was into, like, Scrabble. So whatever letter she had left over, that's how she named her. Wow. Doi. Wow. Stupid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, but it's it's kind of like if you like uh, movies from the 1800s, British movies, and you know the Sherlock Holmes series, you'll probably like this because it's got a lot of you know, catcha, gotcha, you know, different mm -hmm. things like that. Where she's like Sherlock. Her her main thing is she's looking for her mom. Her mother, played by Helena Bottom Carter, disappears. So she's got to find her. But along the way, she runs into this one guy who's a member of like the royal family who can't figure out why his family's trying to get rid of him. So she helps him out. And then there are other little things, you know, that are just going along that she is doing. It's your, it's basically a, a when I say a typical Sherlock Holmes movie, 
uh, or story, but it's just with the younger sister. And it's one, this has Millie Bobby Brown, who I love in Stranger Things. And also who's in this, Henry Cavill? Yep, Henry Cavill. And uh, what's the other gentleman's name? I don't recognize him. Uh, let's see. I've got to pull this thing up right here. Mm, uh, not Sam, important. Sam but Clap anyway, yeah, Sam Claflin, <laughs> who's been in a bunch of he's been in a bunch of other movies. So how does she do in this movie? Because it looks like she's uh, yeah. she's carrying it, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, right. It's it's her movie. Yeah, everybody else is just a co-star, but she does really well, and it's so funny. When I watch the movie, she looks like a young Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm. She does. I mean, she does. yeah. If it was 20 years ago, yeah, this would have been Natalie playing this part. But she, okay. she does well. And like I said, if you like those type of movies, you know, the, you know, cloak and dagger things and all like that, you'll enjoy it. I, I, I enjoyed it because, you know, it's, of course, it's in London. So, you know, mm -hmm. that made me happy. What's not to like about London? Right. It's, it's uh, Netflix and Ola Holmes. Let's listen to a little bit of it. My mother named me Enola, which backwards spells alone. And yet, we were always together. And it was wonderful. She was my whole world. Which leads me on to the second thing you need to know. A week ago, I awoke. Mother? To find that my mother was missing, and she did not return. I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Yes, Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective, my genius brother. He will have all the answers. And know that. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat. It just makes the head itch. And I have no gloves. My God. A wild woman brought up a wild child who will make her acceptable for society. She seems intelligent. There are two paths you can take, Anola. Yours or the path others choose for you. It is time to find my mother. The game is afoot. It's the accent for me. That gets, gets me every time. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> I, I, you, I, I didn't catch who that actress is, and I know you mentioned it, but I... Millie Bobby Brown. She's okay. in it, does she uh, does she Stranger have things. that accent or is that uh, I'm very intrigued when actors do accents and do them so well. Yeah, that, does she does she does have she, a British no, accent I don't in real she, life or does she? I great? think she does either. But you know, she does yeah. a great one. Yeah, yeah, she does a fabulous yeah. accent. Yeah, because it, it, it's always it's one of my son-in-law's pet peeves. Anytime like a British actor plays an American, right? Going, Can't they get an American actor to do this? It's like. Well, the person they got, you know, did an extremely good job. And so it is great when Americans, you know, can put on an accent and you're right. You have to figure out, is that real or are they? Mm -hmm. I, I'm impressed both ways, too. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I can't think of his name now, but he was a great on television, a great doctor. He was an unusual House. doctor. House. Do yeah. Dr. House. Oh, sorry. The, yeah. Guy who, the guy who played House. Mm -hmm. uh I, I had no idea till I saw him on a late night show that he has a British accent in mm -hmm. real life right? and, and does an American accent perfectly when he yeah. was doing that role. I would have never known. So I, I appreciate their talent in that area. So what are we going to say about Enola Holmes? Is this one that we want to tune into Netflix to watch? They have so much to watch now. Right. There's so much available. Mm -hmm. I, is I, it, I wanna, is, is, is it worth it? Yeah. I, it, like I said, again, if you like, you know, the Sherlock Holmes series, uh, you like something from, you know, the 1800s. It is good. I enjoyed it. But, you know, if you're not into, you know, the br old British detective movies, this might not be your cup of tea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cup yeah. of good tea. Good reference. Excellent <laughs> reference there. Yeah, good lady. Does, you know. does she find the mother? Oh, you can't tell I us. can't tell. Oh. That. <laughs> We don't want to. We, we don't want to ruin so. it for anybody. But so, so Dana, will you? It's the Dana test. Will you tune in to see? That? I'll, I'll watch it because I like her. I like her, so I'll give it a chance. Okay, very yeah. good. Uh, thank you to Dana Clark and of course Greg Russell for pointing the right way. Movie, 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 movie. Show, 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 show. show. Plus, 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 plus. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, Greg. Dana, always a Greg. pleasure to be with you on Friday morning. We'll look for your Detroit T-shirt on Channel Four a little later. Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, eight twenty-seven at WJR.
This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans via bill credits when you switch, plus taxes and fees. Stop by for details. Over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p. See T-Mobile.com. At 827, checking it, our WJR traffic and weather first, Miss Dana Clark. Some weekend construction, just a reminder along 94 westbound between 696 and Connor starting tonight, 8 p.m. All lanes will shut down until 5 a.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Chris Furniture. Chris Furniture is offering a special on CR Lane, top of the line sofas, love seats, and chairs with your choice of style, fabric, and colors. Made in the USA from their family to yours, Chris Furniture, open by appointment only 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Call 734-427-3080. Lots of sunshine expected today. Actually, throughout the weekend, no rain ahead for the next several days, uh, not into uh, next week. We don't see any raindrops. A high of 79 today. Tonight, clear skies, your low 60. Fog. Partly cloudy skies, 56 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Dick Hafner in two minutes. Tune in to the Rich Paul Show Saturdays at 9 a.m. and Mondays at 7 p.m. This week on the program, we're going to talk football and financial planning along with some uncommon sense. So make sure you tune in for all of that here on the Rich Paul Show Saturdays at 9 a.m. Mondays at 7 p.m. Schwartz and Company of Bloomfield Hills was founded by Gregory J. Schwartz in 1976. Schwartz & Company is a family-owned and operated investment advisory firm that has steadily grown to service clients in all 50 states. Schwartz & Company President Ed Schwartz. For 43 years, our firm has attracted and retained top investment talent. We continue to focus on developing strong leadership for the future for both our institutional and wealth management teams. Schwartz & Company Investment Advisor Mimi Schwartz-Miller. As a third generation family member, I strive to bring fresh business perspective that'll help our clients achieve their financial goals. Visit gjsco.com. That's gjsco.com. Or call 248-644-2701. Trusted insight, professionally delivered. Schwartz & Company. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch. Stop by for details. Plus taxes and fees. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p. Unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for details. Paris officials have opened the terrorist investigation into a knifing attack near the former offices of the satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo. The attack left at least two people with life-threatening knife wounds. Charlie Hebdo moved their offices after they were attacked by Islamic extremists in 2015. The trial in the Hebdo attacks is currently underway in Paris. The latest Fox News poll shows Joe Biden leading President Trump in three key states. The latest Fox News poll found Joe Biden leads President Trump by nine points in Nevada, five in Ohio, and seven in Pennsylvania. In Charlotte, North Carolina, the president laid out a health care plan Thursday and said he won't sign any health care legislation that does not protect those with pre-existing conditions. Our opponents, the Democrats, love to constantly talk about it, and yet pre-existing conditions are much safer with us than they are with them, and now we have it affirmed. This is affirmed, signed, and done, so we can put that to rest. The Fox poll found more voters in each state trust Biden to do a better job on COVID and picking a Supreme Court justice, but trust President Trump to do a better job on the economy. Jessica Rosenthal, Fox News. The body of Ruth Bader Ginsburg now lies in state at the U.S. Capitol. Ballots, bars, and behind bars. Michigan lawmakers voted to make it easier for clerks to process absentee ballots by letting them start a day earlier than normal. The state house has passed a bill to allow bars to stay open until 4 a.m. Last call right now is 2 a.m. And Michigan would clear the criminal records of hundreds of thousands of people convicted of crimes, mostly low level, under bills that receive final legislative approval. The governor will sign those bills. The U.S. Attorney's Office is warning parents, keep a close watch on your children's activities online. The arrest of a 48-year-old man in Kansas has given rise to that warning and the sexual exploitation of an 8-year-old Bloomfield Township girl who sent him various nude pictures. Aunt Jemima is gone. So is Uncle Ben. Now it's cream of wheat. 
cream of wheat will remove the picture of a black chef from its packaging. The brand dates back to 1893. In a statement, parent company B&G Foods says for years, the image of an African-American chef appeared on our cream of wheat packaging, while research indicates the image may be based upon an actual Chicago chef named Frank White. It reminds some consumers of earlier depictions they find offensive. B&G says it is also taking steps to support diversity and inclusion in the food business and is working on scholarships and other initiatives. The new packaging is expected early next year. Jenny Kosola, Fox News. The Tigers lost to Kansas City 8-7 to despite another home run by Miguel Cabrera, who at the end of this pandemic season has become a red-hot batter for the Tigers. The Dow Jones futures are down 98. I'm Dick Hafner, WJR News. More coming up with Paul W. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke, that it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field? We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. It's not in the genes, it's in your profile. It's time to take charge of your health. Call Dr. Brian Colander at 866-K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R. Our energy grid, it powers the present and fuels the future. That's why DTE is working every day, planning and building the grid of tomorrow, investing in infrastructure that's stronger and more resilient, using advanced technologies to make it smarter and more responsive so you can have reliable, affordable energy where you need it, when you need it. Learn more at dteenergy.com. DTE. There is nothing more beautiful than a tree. Unless, of course, it's fallen on your power lines. Fallen trees are responsible for nearly 70% of the time DTE customers are without power. So DTE is stepping up efforts to trim overgrown trees to keep you safe and the electric grid reliable. And it works. With completed tree trimming, customers have had 60% fewer outages. Learn more at dteenergy.com slash tree care. DTE. It could be a routine drive to pick up the kids after school or an epic road trip across the country. No matter where your travels take you, we know those miles count. We're Marathon. We have over 5,700 stations across our great nation. Our people are working hard every day to provide you with quality top-tier gasoline to improve engine performance and... Fuel your life. Marathon, fueling the American spirit. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. As we uh, continue on this very special Friday morning, uh, special WJR Paul W. Smith Roadshow uh, featuring FCA. And boy, did we pick the right people to feature this week. Every Friday, we're featuring uh, some of the great uh, OEMs uh, in our world that are so very important to us. Happy to see uh, and appropriately dressed as the head of Jeep brand. Uh, he is out somewhere uh, in his Jeep. Apparently, Do, doing from, a little shameless marketing in my Jeep, better I, than, than my my uh, in my front front uh, office in my office in your pajamas. I abs absolutely agree. Uh, it is the one and only Jim Morrison, the head of Jeep brand FCA North America, and boy, do you have a lot to talk about uh, these days. Nice to see you, Jim. Hey, great to see you, Paul. Uh, a lot going on at Jeep. You know, we're not sleeping, but uh, you know, there's there's a lot going on. I, the biggest thing, at least from my view, is the new Wagoneer, which we've already talked about. We're going to talk about more uh, coming up, but there's a lot going on. You've got the new Jeep Wrangler 4XE joining the Renegade and Compass 4XE models in your brand's global electric vehicle lineup. And just in, just in time to hear that California is not going to allow any gasoline vehicles to be sold in just minutes, basically, in our terms of history of the automobile, just a few years from now, it looks like you are well prepared for that. You know, the, the new uh, Wrangler 4xe is perfectly timed, you know, for a lot of reasons. And I think 
you know, it needed to be very much a Jeep and, and uh, the engineers have done a fantastic job. So very capable. If you can imagine 470 pound feet of torque, instant uh, torque, put all uh, the power to the four wheels. The, uh, the Wrangler will climb like no other. It's, it's the most capable Wrangler we've done yet, uh, but it does it in complete quietness you know, almost 25 miles range, uh, 50 MPGE, all the things that California is looking for. Uh, it will help us uh, move uh, uh, the Jeep brand swiftly into, you know, the, the greenest uh, SUV brand in the world. Well, it's it's something to be proud of. I know that all the hardworking men and women of Jeep uh, are proud of this uh, Jeep 4XE, uh, providing these new levels of efficiency, environmental responsibility, performance, and capability that you underscore, Jim Morrison, the capability on and off the road is maintained. It is, absolutely. And, um, you know, that's really important for us at Jeep. That's the uh, foundation of our brand, and that's what our customers expect. And it, this is the most capable Wrangler yet with all of that torque. Uh, but the other thing that is, it's just a blast to drive. I can tell you, I spent a lot of time in it, you know, wheeling it at the new course uh, in Holly in, in, uh, in my backyard in Michigan um, and on the road. And uh, it's just, it's fun. It's, it's it does zero to 60 in like six seconds, uh, which is like 20% faster than, uh, wow. than the other uh, Wranglers. It's, it's a lot of fun. You do that, you know, with the doors off, the top off. It's an experience that nobody else can match in the marketplace, and I think it's going to be fun to uh, to bring the new 4 by e Wrangler to market. When do you think that will be? I, I understand it's available for order in Europe, but what about on this side of the pond? Uh, we'll be uh, opening up orders kind of mid-November, and uh, they'll start uh, trickling in uh, this year and, and uh, in more volume uh, in Q1 of, uh, of next year. I have a 17-year-old, uh, and, and I, I, she's not alone, I'm sure, You've got a lot of people on the younger end of the spectrum very, very excited about Jeep overall. But now that they can look forward to something that is right in line with the way they've been raised to think in terms of the ecology uh, and all of the good things, the environmental responsibility without going crazy, uh, they've got to be extra excited about the Jeep. Now, you also have a new Jeep Adventure Academy. Well, it's not really new, but an Adventure Academy. Uh, that helps uh, providing some off-roading instruction to the Jeep 4x4 owners, enthusiasts, and family. Tell us a little bit about that, Jim. Well, Paul, talking to our customers, you know, a lot of people were, you know, really wanting to learn more about uh, their vehicles and whether it be, you know, a, a Compass, a Renegade, or, you know, a fully loaded uh uh, Rubicon Wrangler, they wanted to know a little bit more about it and how to, you know, take their vehicle off road. They know that by having a Jeep 4x4, it, you know, the ability to go off road is kind of a rite of passage, but they really wanted to, you know, get to know their Jeep a little bit more. So we set this uh, program up so they can come in, they can learn um, more about their vehicle, they can understand, you know, what the four wheel drive system is capable of, what the different switches do, you know, how to drive uh, safely and, and uh, proficiently uh, off road. You know, from the Jeep Jamboree folks, you know, they're putting it on with us and, and really helping, um, you know, get a lot more exposure to the kind of the sport of off-roading uh, for our customers and then get them to understand more about their Jeep. And uh, it's, it's something we're really looking forward to. Now, the, the biggie, really, and we've talked about it already, but we want to reiterate because you can't talk enough about the Wagoneer return, returning as a premium extension of Jeep brand. Uh, really marking the rebirth of a premium American icon. People are excited. Uh, we're on uh, social media at all times, but also broadcasting on WJR's FaceTime and YouTube. And I, I've got a lot of people asking questions about when the Wagoneer is coming out. So they already know it's fabulous. And I'll let you talk about some of the uh, wonderful things about the new Wagoneer. But when is that coming out? It'll be next year. We haven't uh, um, released the exact timing, but uh, kind of mid-year is uh, is when the new uh, uh, Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer will be coming online for uh, uh, for us. And it's really something because you really make a big deal, Jim Morrison, about the this being the ultimate premium SUV. It really is. It's a nice extension uh, of the uh, of the brand, and you know, there's a lot of passion that comes with you know that name and and the history of you know uh, people having you know uh, Grand Wagoneers in their past. Uh, people, a lot of people don't know this, but it was, uh, you know, it's in its time in the 70s and 80s. It was the uh, vehicle that had the highest 
uh, demographic income of any vehicle in America. Porsche, Ferrari, you name it. Um, wow. It, it was the, the epitome. And if you think about it, it was, you know, a, a vehicle that delivered a lifestyle. It was the first four by four with an automatic transmission, leather interior, you know, even a CB radio for communication, you know, all of kind of the high tech stuff at the time, you know, was, uh, was delivered with this Grand Wagoneer. So you really were just kind of bringing uh, Grand Wagoneer back you know, here uh, in 2020, you know, in kind of its rightful place. Uh, but it is uh, it is going to be a, uh, a vehicle that's, you know, the top end of the brand and delivering great capability, you know, three rows, lots of capability, uh, three four-wheel drive systems, incredible inside, you know, 75 inches of screens. Uh, it's it's amazing, you know, uh, with, with all of the luxuries that you would expect. Uh, in a premium SUV. So we're looking forward to uh, bringing all of that uh, back into marketplace here next year. We had uh, your fabulous designer, Ralph Gilles, on when we were talking about the wood, yes. uh, the woody, and uh, having wood on the side, but it wasn't authentic, and he wasn't going to put, you know, it, it, it. in the end, it was like, uh, it, it wasn't real wood, obviously, and he didn't want to put fake stuff on there. But was there behind the scenes? You can be honest. It's just us. Was just there us. behind the scenes? Uh, of thousands of people <laughs> that want to know. Behind the scenes, was there a little struggle for some people holding out for the wood on the sides? You know, and I'll say this, Paul, we're still actually struggling with it because we're a brand that really feels uh, like it's important to pay attention to our customers. And, you know, whether, you know, we believe that it's right to put you know, wood on a vehicle, you know, here in 2020 or not, uh, a lot of our customers are asking for it. So we're paying attention to them. It's the same reason we're bringing back the brand. It's the same reason we put diesel in Wrangler. It's the same reason, you know, we made a, a, a Gladiator pickup truck. It's because we listen to our customers and and uh, we'd be wrong not to. Um, and I'm not saying we're going to do it. We're not going to do it. But the, the conversation is still going because our customers want, uh, want us to have it. I, I do understand, Ralph you know, not wanting contact paper on the side of a vehicle, which is what it came down to oftentimes. Uh, but I do appreciate too, that you really do listen to your customers and, and you want to please them and give them the vehicle that they want. There's always aftermarket, but why not do it, uh, from the beginning, if that's exactly what most people want. Meanwhile, uh, what I do know is, uh, the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer will be built right in Metro Detroit this uh, next year. And we're looking forward to that, and we thank you for that. And now, uh, very quickly, without uh, giving away uh, any company secrets, can you tell me, Jim Morrison, what Jeep you're in right now? I'm in a Grand Cherokee. Um, just actually did a road trip, taking a few days off to see my uh, see my daughter in New York. And and uh, what better vehicle to uh, spend 10 hours in? I uh, can't cut across Canada anymore because the border's closed. So oh, did a road trip here last night to come see her for the weekend. And uh you know, the, the Grand Cherokee is such a nice vehicle. So, um, you know, it's it's the uh, the road trip choice and just uh, a beautiful Jeep. Good for you. You're hearing from a man who could have driven any vehicle at all, but he chose that Grand Cherokee, which is a winner all the way around. The head of Jeep brand, FCA North America, Mr. Jim Morrison. Have a great visit with your daughter, Jim. Thank you. You take care. As we continue on WJR at 845. This report is sponsored by T-Mobile for Business. T-Mobile Business Advantage. Get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans via bill credits when you switch, plus taxes and fees. Stop by for details. Over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p. See T-Mobile.com. It is a gorgeous morning. Again, 55 sunny degrees. And the very sunny Dana Clark with our WJR traffic and weather first. Really, uh, it's been a pretty good drive out there. Uh, no major accidents. We are still watching that closure, though, in Grand Blanc Township 75 southbound between Dixie Highway and Grange Hall Road shut down there due to a multi-vehicle crash. 696 westbound, kind of a slow ride in Roseville between Gratiot and Grosbeck. Your left two lanes are closed until 3 p.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre-screen quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbloomfield.com. No, no complaints here unless you want it to rain, if that's the case. Uh, maybe next week, maybe early next week. 
nice clear start today and the dry pavement sticks around this afternoon gorgeous sunshine close to 80 tonight 59 suburbs low to mid 50s kick it off the weekend tomorrow with a few clouds low 80s sunday cloud sun low 80s from the weather channel i'm meteorologist ray stage on news talk 760 wjr i ran into rona at a party and now i can't run out with the guys man because rona was at that party i can't visit my mom i ran into rona there and now my bay said bye stop running around run the other way stay away from rona here's how at ronaforreal.com exalta's color of the year has been highly anticipated and graciously received this year, Exalta dove into its trend research and color technology to make a splash. Exalta Global Color Product Manager Nancy Lockhart, tell us what it is. Exalta's 2020 Automotive Color of the Year is Sea Glass, a striking turquoise blue that captivates with sparkling effects and intense chroma. Inspired by a sense of sustainability in nature, Sea Glass infuses a tranquil yet confident style. Sea Glass evokes the calming, powerful elements found in oceanic depths while staying on trend with the recent rise of blue vehicles. Sea Glass was formulated with built-in paint technologies that allow vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle detection to facilitate the advancement of autonomous mobility. Designed to be seen, Sea Glass brings striking rich color and detectability to the roadways. For more, visit exalta.com slash color. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Lear, a global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems, headquartered in Southfield, Michigan, has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. It's a position they've earned by engineering and manufacturing superior vehicle technology with constant reliability and excellence. But what really sets Lear apart is their track record of responsibility, honoring commitments to the team, and the unwavering support of the communities where they do business. A diverse global culture that understands that they can achieve more together. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision, one that is connected, electrified, and sustainable, and one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. Donald Trump says we're not safe in Biden's America, but we're living in Trump's America now. And 200,000 Americans have died from the virus that he lied about. The simple truth is, Donald Trump failed to protect America. So now, he's trying to scare America. Mr. Trump, you want to talk about fear? Do you know people are afraid they're going to get COVID? They're afraid they're going to get sick and die. And that is in no small part because of you. Joe Biden will protect the American people, putting our safety above all else. I want a safe America, safe from COVID, safe from crime and looting, safe from racially motivated violence. And I promise you this, we will do better. There's not a single thing beyond our capacity when we decide to do it together. I'm Joe Biden, candidate for president, and I approve this message. Paid for by Biden for president. I'm Matt Garko with Bill Brown Ford. With one of the largest inventories in the country, more people trust Bill Brown Ford because we don't just sell F-150s, most of our team members drive one. Bill Brown Ford, proud to be your F-150 dealer. Are you ready for what's next? It's likely coming. More food shortages, power outages, grocery stores closed, social unrest. Ask yourself, do you have enough food and supplies on hand to last at least 30 days? Most Americans do not, but you can. Avoid the panic of the last minute rush. Order your four week supply of emergency food today from mypatriotsupply.com. Starvation or dependency on the government are your only alternatives. Avoid those and the pain of being unprepared. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com right now. Build your emergency food supply with meals that last up to 25 years in storage, shipped discreetly to your door. Folks that know what's coming are using today to prepare. There's time for you to do the same. That's MyPatriotSupply.com, the original Patriot Preparedness Company. MyPatriotSupply.com Welcome back to the WJR Roadshow with Paul W. Smith. Presented by Bridgestone, Lear, Continental Structural Plastics, Axalta, and Eckhart. With more from FCA, here's Paul. 
Well, we're getting ready for Chris uh, Renwick to be in again for Frank Beckman, but I, I reflect on that to commercial just now, mypatriotsupply.com. I see Dick Hafner is uh, standing by along with Chris. So I'm going to ask uh, both of you, have either of you felt compelled or entertained the thought of ordering something like that, food, to have there at home in case of Armageddon, a uh, food that'll last 25 years, which will take you a long time through all the problems that we have ahead of us in society. So have, you, have either of you felt compelled to look into that? I haven't, but actually, maybe I'm just trying to avoid having to face a question about whether an apocalypse could really happen. I think it's something that a lot of people might want to think about. Yeah, well, I uh, good morning to you guys. I uh no, I have it. I got some pasta sauce on the ready and some <laughs> pasta. Uh, uh being uh -huh. Italian, that's very important to me. Uh yes. <laughs> outside of that, uh no, I'm I'm I mean, you know, I I I I haven't quite got to that point yet. All right. Uh okay. I I I must tell you I had never thought of it until I've yeah. been hearing this commercial on WJR. Obviously people do do this and have thought of it and have been looking for a, I know nothing about this company. I'm glad they advertise on WJR, mypatriotsupply.com. I have not gone online to see what they're offering. I will. Uh, no idea what something like that costs. I don't think it's a bad idea to be not scared, but prepared. I would add to that. You want a bunch of water. And for me, of course, it's absolute pure. It's never far from where I am. So having, I think, plenty of water on hand is just a good idea for any kind of a situation that might happen or go wrong. It's it's good to have good, clean uh, drinking water around. But uh, just an interesting thought here. Uh, way on the other end of the spectrum, it's National Comic Book Day. I did not know that until <laughs> I was just given this information. All right. National Comic Book Day. And uh, besides wishing that our our mothers had kept those comic books that we once had, uh, even though we said, no, nah, it's OK, I don't need them. Uh, and and they went away. Now we, of course, think that we had comic books that probably would have made us a millionaire, which may or may not be true. Do you still have your comic books, Chris? Can I can I admit to something here? Yes, Maybe I should. Yes, I don't yes, know. No, Maybe no, Brian Morton never... might cut me off. Uh, right. I don't think I've ever owned a comic book. I don't think I've ever Ryan, owned a comic Ryan, book. Ryan, go ahead. Cut him off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't yeah. think you've ever owned a comic Here's book? Here's the hook. Well, there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dick, what were you going to say before we have to go? Well, Paul W., I think you and I probably did have comic books. I had a lot of comic books. Yep. I especially liked Archie Comics. I would go to the drugstore and make sure I had a dime whenever I knew a new Archie comic book was coming out. And here's a question for you, Veronica or Betty? Oh boy. I, I don't, I don't have a good answer quickly oh. on that. Well, um, a lot okay. of our listeners will know I take Veronica. You take Veronica. I, we always hear that, uh, from, uh, you know, the, uh, Gilligan's Island. That's, I never hear it from the, the comic book. A quick note from uh, Mark. <laughs> Mark is the Christmas light guy. Uh, tell Paul, he has ordered food from the Patriot people I mentioned, uh, mypatriotsupply.com. Uh, and he would suggest it's a good idea to get something. Uh, you'll be in pretty good. He says it's a pretty good company. All right. Well, that's good to know. And I, I had something else here I wanted to talk about. I'm going to, uh, in spite of all this uh at the end here and i know the music's playing and we got to go because chris is coming up sitting in for frank again and we do appreciate that but i will uh, leave you with this uh, thought on national comic book day uh first i'll say thanks to ann thomas our executive producer brian morton pressing all the right buttons mike kim smith with me always dick hafner dana clark and you our wjr listeners and viewers uh, from time to time for standing by, being with us all the time. I'm going to be gone for the next uh, three days, uh, regularly scheduled, uh, intense so uh, physical. Uh, Dick is going on the physical with me uh, because we made a pact. We would never get our prostates checked again without each other. 
Does anyone really believe what I'm saying right now? I totally believe it. I buy okay. into it completely. All right. Well, all right. So I'm going to leave you. <laughs> Somebody is actually going to quote this and believe it. All right. I have to say this. From Wonder Woman, words to live by. Remember, it was Wonder Woman who said, don't kill if you can wound. Don't wound if you can subdue. Don't subdue if you can pacify. And don't raise a hand at all until you've extended it. How about mm. that? Wow. Words of Wonder words. Woman. Kim, will keep that held up. And it's uh, this weekend, fighting for the first survivor, walk to end Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's Association. Go to their uh, ALZ website. Go on out. Make a great one. A great weekend. Good Lord willing, we'll be back with you Thursday morning. You'll be informed and entertained Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as well. Regards, Paul W. Smith. This report is sponsored by T 